At number 10, Rock Hudson. Imagine taking one of the biggest secrets about who you really are to your grave. That's essentially what happened with famed Hollywood actor Rock Hudson. Rock was one of the hottest leading males in Hollywood in his heyday, but he lived with a huge secret for his whole life and people didn't end up finding out about it until after his passing. When Rock passed away in 1985, it was revealed that he had died from AIDS. He became one of the first and most famous Hollywood celebrities to pass away from the illness. Because the illness was so heavily associated with being gay, speculation began to float around saying that Rock had been hiding his sexuality from the public this whole time. This all turned out to be 100% true as friends and family of Rock confirmed what the public had been thinking in a biography on the actor. In the book, it was revealed that he had an ex-boyfriend named Lee Garlington and he was described as Rock's true love. Rock's secret was really only known by his closest friends and family and an inner circle of Hollywood and a lot of them fought to keep his sexuality a secret in order to preserve his career. I couldn't imagine how tough it would be to have to keep such a big part of who you are a secret from the world. At number 9, David Cassidy. Oftentimes we try our best to be open and honest with our struggles in life, but for some it's hard to share some of the things that you might not be too proud of. This is what caused actor David Cassidy to keep a pretty big secret from the public that wasn't actually revealed until after he passed away. Before he passed away, David shared with the public his struggles with dementia. Fans believed that the actor was suffering from the disease and so when news broke of his death, people just assumed that it was the dementia that ultimately took him. But it wasn't until the documentary about the actor called David Cassidy The Last Session came out that the public learned the truth about David's health. It turned out that the actor was never actually diagnosed with dementia and that this wasn't what was harming his health. Instead, it was alcohol poisoning that he was struggling with and that ultimately took his life. In the documentary, the actor admitted to everything, saying, quote, There is no sign of me having dementia at this stage in my life. It was complete alcohol poisoning, and the fact is, I lied about my drinking. End quote. One of the documentaries produced spoke out about having known about the actor's struggles before the public where they said quote, We didn't want to exploit him, but ultimately he was honest about what killed him and we decided that his legacy would be best served if we shared that. End quote. Before we carry on talking about some of the juiciest celebrity secrets, why not take a brief moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Gene Wilder. When someone is diagnosed with a serious illness, it becomes a very tough and very personal decision of whether or not to tell people about it. I know people who chose to keep their illness a secret until the end, and this is exactly what actor Gene Wilder did. Gene passed away in 2016, but it wasn't until after he died that the public learned about the secret that he was keeping in regards to his health. It turned out that the actor had been battling Alzheimer's for over three years before he passed away. After learning this, a lot of people wanted to know why the this news was kept secret from the public and the reason behind it is so touching. Gene didn't reveal his condition to the public because he wanted people to remember him as he was and not someone who was sick. He wanted to keep the smiles on the faces of his fans. In a statement released by Gene's family, they elaborated on the situation saying quote, The decision to wait until this time to disclose his condition wasn't vanity, but more so that the countless young children that would smile or call out to him, there's Willy Wonka, would not have to be then exposed to an adult referencing illness or trouble and causing delight to travel to worry, disappointment or confusion. He simply couldn't bear the idea of one less smile in the world. End quote. At number 7, Corey Hyam. Unfortunately, as much as there's glitz and glam in Hollywood, there's also a dark side, one of those dark sides being harming and manipulating others. This is sadly something that actor Corey Hyam experienced as a child actor in Hollywood. Both he and his best friend Corey Feldman experienced the dark side of Hollywood, and though Feldman has been pretty outspoken about what he endured, Hyam on the other hand kept that top secret. The one thing that he kept absolutely hidden was the identity of the person who seriously harmed him. Him. Haim went to the grave knowing the identity of the person who harmed him, but this secret isn't completely lost as it's alleged that Corey Feldman actually knows who did it. Feldman tried in the past to get his friend to expose the person who caused him so much pain, but Haim refused because he was so scared that this individual would try and hurt them again. Haim made Corey promise that he would share the story of what happened to them if he died, and Corey did share some details, but again, the identity of the person who hurt Corey Haim remains a secret. 
At number six, Sally Ride. Up next, we have another celebrity who unfortunately didn't get to live their life as open as they should have been able to, as they went to the grave with a huge secret. Astronaut Sally Ride was the first American woman to go to space. She became widely known for her presence in the NASA community, promoting education and interest in space, and specifically devoted much of her life to helping girls excel in STEM. She did a lot for her community, especially women and young girls, but there was another community that she was a part of that no one really knew about until after she passed away. When Sally passed away in 2012, her title grew to not only be the first American woman to go to space, but also the first astronaut to be acknowledged as gay. Sally's sexuality was never public knowledge until her obituary named a woman named Tan O'Shaughnessy as her partner of 27 years. Number 5. Selena Gomez Russo! Selena Gomez made her Disney debut starring as Alex Russo on the hit sitcom Wizards of Waverly Place, a show centered around a family of wizards operating a deli in New York City. Huh. I've never actually said that out loud. That is a really weird plot, but it exists. And we love it. Anyway, following the success of that show, Selena has gone on to have a pretty stellar musical career, with her song Love You Like a Love Song hitting the top of the 100 billboards list and sticking to it for quite some time. And not to mention, <clears throat> hitting the top 100 billboard list and getting stuck in my head for the rest of my life. Selena is one of those celebrities who you most certainly will not recognize on the streets. When Selena has made public appearances in recent history, she's always shown up in a beautiful gown and she's had her makeup good to go. But seeing a side by side comparison shows that Gomez actually looks very different in her street clothes. Sometimes her makeup gives her a puffy face and she looks like she has a layer of something on her cheeks to keep them plump. When natural and makeup free, her cheeks are more defined, and her natural skin tone brings out the contours of her face. I guess there's no magic needed for Ms. Gomez. Number 4. Jennifer Lopez J.Lo rose to stardom in the early 2000s after a successful launch of her music career with songs like Love Don't Cost a Thing and On the Floor, as well as several movie appearances alongside many Hollywood giants like the late great Robin Williams in Jack, Ice Cube in Anaconda, and so many more. Before I even think one negative thing about this woman's appearance, I just want to clarify that JLo is 53 and none of us are worthy. Seriously, we can all only pray to look this good when we are in our 50s. But she definitely looks different after the makeup comes off, right? With makeup, the actress looks great. Instead of bright and vibrant like many others on our list, hers is more focused on aiming towards smoky eyes and giving her cheeks a more defined look. When the makeup is off, however, Jennifer looks 30, flirty, and thriving. Seriously, at 53 years old, this woman looks like she is in her last year of university and has looked like that for the last 30 years. We should have casted her in 21 Jump Street alongside Shakira. Now that would have been a good movie. Sure, once in a while she's had some rough days. I mean, hey, I've been having a rough day for like three months, obviously. But she somehow still finds a way to pull off that sleepy-eyed look. Good job, JLo. Number three, Ariana Grande. Here's a quick age test for you guys. When you hear Ariana Grande, do you remember her more from her Nickelodeon days or more from her time dominating the music scene? Hmm. Personally, I was 100% a Nickelodeon kid, which would explain a lot. On stage and screen, Ariana is usually caked in a fair amount of makeup. Her lips are always looking lavish and her hair is usually put up in like a, a ponytail bun type thing. I don't know fashion. But when she gets off stage and wipes it off, she basically travels back in time. Several photos of her without makeup show that underneath that makeup cake, she still looks the exact same as she did in the Nickelodeon days. If she was walking in the streets, you'd have childhood flashbacks and revert to throwing slime on each other. Like seriously, what was with Nickelodeon throwing slime on people? It's just gross. Ariana is known to be a bit eccentric, so maybe one day she'll literally like time travel and collab with her past self. Now that would be a solid Netflix movie. Number two. Tyra Banks. Easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl. For those who don't know, Tyra Banks is a supermodel and TV personality known best as the face of the cosmetics company CoverGirl, as well as the very popular and horribly organized clothing store Victoria's Secret. You may however know her best from her time as a reality TV host on the show America's Next Top Model, a modeling competition series in which women would compete in various beauty themed challenges for a chance to be crowned America's Next Top Model and to have your career launched. There is no better person to have judged this competition. Tyra's stage presence is astounding and she's always looking flawless for the cameras. When she hopped on the no makeup train, fans were very quick to notice her alter ego was different. 
than her onstage persona. In her chill time, Tyra wakes up with Tim Burton eyes, but she quickly eases into a more cozy look. She's always wearing comfortable sweaters and sweatsuits. So hey, Nike, throw a sponsorship her way and some tells me she'll say yes. And at number one, RuPaul. I'd like to start off by saying, if you are in the drag community, you have all of my respect. You have massive cojones, keep slaying it. RuPaul's Drag Race quickly became one of the most popular reality show competitions in the world after its premiere in February of 2009. The show documents RuPaul in search of America's next top drag star. Ru plays the role of host, mentor, and head judge of the series, as every week contestants are given different challenges. While many drag stars are known for their incredibly extravagant looks, it's Paul himself that takes the spot on this list, as the most unrecognizable celebrity when the makeup comes off. On screen, Paul is big and bright, usually boasting a puffy hairdo and having an on point sense of style. But outside of that, Paul looks more like a politician, usually seen in horn brim glasses and a suit, always very stylish and ready to work. But unfortunately, my childlike brain looks at Paul and is reminded of a certain character from the film Master of Disguise who wasn't turtly enough to be in the turtle club. But straight up, Everyone that was on this list is absolutely stunning, and none of us are worthy enough to be in their presence. It just turns out that makeup does make a difference. At number 10 is Shaq's embarrassing trip to Walmart. The NBA Hall of Famer is one of the greatest basketball players of all time and is also hilarious, by the way. Honestly, I feel like his comedy is a little underrated, not gonna lie. Even though he's retired now, he still maintains his funny personality on social media and in live interviews. During one of his interviews in 2018, while he was on The Late Late, show, he shared the story about a time that he went to Walmart and his credit card got declined. The incident happened after he was traded from Miami to Phoenix and he needed furniture for his new apartment because he didn't want to wait for his stuff to arrive from Miami. So he went to Walmart and spent $70,000 but his credit card got declined several times and he actually had to call American Express with everyone watching. $70,000 at Walmart, what are you buying? Moving on to number 9 is Madonna opens up about her sex life. Leave it up to Ellen to add a game to her show that has her celebrity guests opening up about their personal business. She added this classic party game, Never Ever Have I Ever, and has them answer with an answer card that says they have, or if they flip it, it says they have never. Madonna was paired with Justin Bieber to play, and Ellen asked them, Never Ever Have I Ever had sex with more than two different people in one day. Justin and Ellen both held up the I have never card, but Madonna held up the I have. Unfortunately, we didn't get any more details about who her two for one hookups were, but we did learn that she is just a little more frisky than we thought. Cruising into our number 8 spot is the time that Diddy confessed the craziest place that he had sex. Ellen DeGeneres is back at it again with a fun game to get some gossip about her guests and one of them is called Hot Seat. Her guests sit with her in two hot seats and they fire off questions that they have to answer and then they quickly hit the buzzer when they are done. Apparently her show just has no shame in asking people about their sex life because she asked him where is the craziest place you've had sex. But he had no shame in answering and revealed the secret that he's actually had sex at Nobu which is one of the most famous and popular restaurants in LA. So next time you're in at Nobu, just know that he had sex there. In spot number 7 is Kim Kardashian accidentally revealed the gender of her child. In the world of Hollywood, media outlets would fight to their death to find out a secret like this so that they could be the first to publish it. But Kim didn't give them the chance because she accidentally let it slip during an interview on Ellen. Her and her husband Kanye West revealed that they were going to have their third child through a surrogate but didn't want to reveal the gender. She screwed up though when she was telling a story about her daughter North wanting to keep all the new baby's toys in her room. She said that the day after the shower, North went up to her and said, Mom, since baby sister's not here, I think I need all of her toys in my room and I'll play with them and make sure they're okay for baby sister. Ellen was quick to point out that she just told us it is a girl because she's having a baby sister. Oops. And number six is a time that Denise Richards talked about her lesbian fling. Most people are used to seeing her as Charlie Sheen's former wife and also the mother to his kids. But when she did an interview on the Howard Stern show, she revealed some spicy information about her life outside of Mr. Sheen. She admitted that she had hooked up with a female friend. She wouldn't reveal who it was, but said that she's also a well known Hollywood star. She talked about it and said, I just met her through friends and work and stuff. I was just curious. We were curious. She was a girly girl and she's beautiful. You would know who she is. Come on, Denise. We need more than that. Tell us who it is. 
I wanna know. Halfway number five, Mariah Carey. It was revealed that Mariah Carey was suffering from bipolar disorder, but the unfortunate part is that it wasn't Mariah herself that shared it with the world, but rather her sister. Because of her sister's comments, Mariah opened up about her sister and the issues that she has that affects Mariah as well. Mariah's sister Allison claimed that Mariah had been struggling with the disorder for years, but the relationship between the sisters is more than a little strange, and they allegedly hadn't spoken since 1994 at the time. Allison has been arrested multiple times for illegal activities, and she once told undercover cops that she could, quote, give them a sweet, sweet fantasy. Allison also calls out Mariah for not helping her with her medication, since she deals with her own issues and is in need of money to pay for the medication. Because of this, Allison has tried to extort her sister multiple times for money, which I'm sure is incredibly exhausting for Mariah. In at number four, Lori Loughlin. This is one I'm sure you know of, but some big names in Hollywood were exposed big time when Operation Varsity Blues found that Lori Loughlin and Felicity Huffman had bribed their child's way into prestigious universities. Loughlin and her husband, fashion guru Massimo Giannulli, were accused of paying $500,000 to get their daughters, Olivia J. Giannulli and Bella Giannulli, into USC on the crew team. When, as I'm sure that you already know, they never even played the sport. In light of everything, the family lost tons of sponsorship deals, and Lachlan's contract with Hallmark came to an abrupt end. And in the end, Lori was sentenced to two months in prison for her crimes. And now the family's reputation will probably never be the same. And at number three, Demi Moore. Demi Moore spilled everything about her marriage to Ashton Kutcher in her 2019 memoir, Inside Out. And there are things in the book that I'm sure she was reluctant to bring to light again. In the book, she talks about the tumultuous eight-year marriage to Ashton Kutcher, giving details on the fact that they had a threesome because Ashton essentially begged for it. After it happened, Moore was regretful about the situation, but it seemed that Ashton was not, and only made him more distant in the marriage. Writing in her book, quote, because we'd brought in a third party into our relationship, Ashton said that blurred the lines and to some extent justified what he'd done. Speaking about the fact that it led to him cheating down the line. But the marriage was over after he admitted to cheating on her with a 21 year old woman in 2011, adding in an interview that the divorce is the reason she had a relapse with her alcohol addiction. Saying in the Red Table Talk interview, quote, the addiction was in the codependency. My addiction to Ashton was probably almost more devastating than alcohol because it took me seriously away emotionally. And because she had spilled all of these secrets, she was asked why she decided to talk about all this now. With her responding, quote, I think my desire was to really get to a place where I'm okay to really be seen. Adding, quote, when there isn't anything to protect, that's a great spot. And at number two, Allison Mack. The case of Smallville actor Allison Mack was one of the most shocking and disturbing in recent years. On April 20th of 2018, the actor was arrested in Brooklyn on charges of sex trafficking, along with other similar crimes. Apparently, she was heavily involved in a bad group of people called Nexium, and apparently she was used to recruit women into the group. And then these victims were later exploited by the group in numerous ways. After a lengthy trial, Mack pled guilty to the charges. However, it's been over a year since she was sentenced and no time has actually been given. So she's been on house arrest in her parents' house this whole time. And at number one, Meghan Markle. Since Meghan Markle became one of the most famous people on earth basically overnight, a lot has been exposed about her. A lot that I'm sure she wishes didn't. One thing is that her sister said she quote, is a social climber with a soft spot for gingers. Okay. But one of the biggest secrets about Meghan that people are pretty convinced is true is that she used to author a shady blog about the industry. The blog was called, quote, The Working Actress. And to give you an idea of some of the stuff she wrote about, the blog said it was documenting the ups and downs of a hustling young actress in the cutthroat world of Hollywood. In February 2018, the Daily Mail reported that impeccable sources from California confirmed that Meghan Markle wrote the blog, with an actor named Lance Carter telling Daily Mail, quote, yeah, it was definitely Meghan who wrote it. Then in Andrew Morton's biography, Meghan, a Hollywood Princess, the magazine included the working actress in a list of the royal's former jobs. So clearly her more public vlog, The Tig, wasn't all she was writing. All right, everyone, that's all for the video today. Let me know what you're thinking about it down below. And were there any that I missed that could be in a part two? And at number 10, fake relationships. I think at this point it's clear that most Hollywood relationships are faked for PR. Occasionally these fake relationships actually turn into real love, but most of the time these fake couples split as soon as the movie comes out, making it painfully obvious. One of the most obvious cases of this was the on and off again relationship between Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart during the Twilight Days. These two would always be in a relationship when their newest movies were dropping, but then a few weeks after the release, they would break up. Since they split almost immediately after the final Breaking Dawn movie was released, it's 
clear that it was all a lie. Also, the pair looked so uncomfortable when they were together, and now that we see what they look like in a happy relationship, it's clear that they weren't in one. And at number 9, Paid Paparazzi. If you've ever wondered why some celebrities look amazing in paparazzi photos, well, others don't, it's because a lot of celebrities hire their own paparazzi to make sure they never look bad in a photo. The most recent celebrity to get called out for using this tactic was Addison Rae. While Addison was out in New York, she happened to get a ton of great photos of herself out and about in the city, and Page Six called her out for tipping off the paparazzi about her location so she can get a ton of good pictures. Page Six called it, quote, a move straight out of the introductory course at the Kardashian Institute of Advanced Fame Grasper. Apparently, Addison specifically wanted good photos of her outfits so that she could become known for her style. This move has long been used by the Kardashians back when they were up and coming, and now it seems that Addison is taking tips from her new friends. And at number 8, Fake Bodies. It's no secret that almost everyone in Hollywood has had some work done. Usually it's minor things like Botox and fillers to maintain youthfulness, but some celebrities went through major changes before making it big, and these cosmetic procedures were the reason that it all happened. Apparently it's an open secret that celebrities will change their bodies to adapt to the times to maintain marketability. But the worst part is that most celebrities don't own up to these big changes, so fans will think these people are effortlessly perfect and it starts to impact the everyday person's self esteem. One of the most common procedures seems to be a nose job, and most celebrities Celebrities that are deemed au naturel have had it done. Blake Lively, Scarlett Johansson, and Jennifer Aniston are just some of the celebrities that fans are convinced had nose jobs, but they will never admit it to fans who think it's all elite genetics. In at number seven, award show corruption. Many fans assume that Oscars and Grammys are given to those who truly deserve it, but once you pull back the curtain, that's really not how it works. And an open secret is that anyone who wants to win one of these awards must campaign for it and basically bribe the judges. This can be in the form of actual money, or things like vacations and expensive gifts. Back in 1981, actress Pia Zandora won the Best Newcomer Award for her role in the movie Butterfly. It was a shock to everyone, until it was exposed that her husband paid off the voting members to ensure that she won, and over time the practice did not get better. In 2011, publicist Michael Russell sued the Hollywood Foreign Press Association for firing him. He was trying to expose the corruption with the award show, and they didn't like that. The party settled the dispute out of court. And at number 6, Cheating Movies often take months to film. That's long, grueling hours away from family and friends, stuck with the small same group of people. Because of how it all works, movie sets are breeding grounds for extramarital affairs, especially if you're spending a lot of time with your love interest in the movie that you're hugging and kissing all day on set. There are truly too many examples to name, but there's a solid chance that one of your favorite actors cheated on their spouse during the filming of a hit movie. The most famous are Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and Kristen Stewart and director Rupert Sanders during the filming of their project. And obviously, this this happens a lot more than it's reported. Halfway number 5, Scientology. Scientology is a mysterious religion that happens to have a ton of A-list celebrity followers. It's been said that the founder of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, used celebrities because he knew that they would attract followers to this new religion. This is also the reason that the Church of Scientology has a huge luxurious building right on Hollywood Boulevard. In the 1950s, L. Ron Hubbard created the quote, Project Celebrity, a written program that offers rewards to Scientologists who bring in some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Today, some of Hollywood's biggest stars follow Scientology, including Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Christie Alley. Apparently, these stars are rewarded with Butler-esque employees to do anything and everything for them. Former high-ranking members spoke out against this, claiming that they saw Tom Cruise use underpaid Scientology workers for years. And at number 4, Gender Pay Gap Yet another example of Hollywood being harmful to women is the gender pay gap between men and women in movies. And unfortunately, this still exists to this day. This issue came to the forefront in 2013 when the movie American Hustle was released. The movie showcases huge movie stars, but unfortunately was exposed that the female actors received less than their male counterparts. An email hack revealed that Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams received two points less on the revenue sharing agreement than their male co-stars Bradley Cooper and Christian Bale, despite the fact that both actresses are A-list actors. Around the same time, Meryl Streep, the actor with the most Oscars ever, came forward to say that even she was paid less than her male co-stars. House of Cards actress Robin Wright also said that she needed to be paid as much as Kevin Spacey or she would go public against Netflix. And at number 3, Animal Cruelty When making a movie, it's imperative that nobody is hurt during the production. This includes animals, and it's common to read, quote, no animals were harmed during the making of while watching a movie. But according to many reports out of Hollywood, that's not always true and animals are often harmed on movie sets. Some of the worst examples include the near-drowning death of a tiger during the filming of Life of 
pie, the hitting of a dog on the set of Eight Below, and the dozens of dead fish and squid that washed up on the shore over four days during filming of the Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. The second season of the HBO series Luck was actually cancelled after four horses died during the production. Apparently they were overworked because the production wanted the horse racing to look as real as possible. The people on set also ignored warnings from humane animal monitors on the set, making it clear that they didn't care about the animals. Unfortunately, this loss of life had no repercussion. In at number 2, Hollywood Fixers It's long been rumored that bigwigs in Hollywood will hire fixers to do the dirty work for them. These are basically tough guys that will swoop in and do the dirty work that these powerful people can't get caught doing themselves. This idea was brought up again because of the series Ray Donovan. Back in the days of old Hollywood, where stars would sign their lives away to movie studios, it was common to have these fixers to deal with personal issues. It was rumored that these men would cover up pregnancies of their young stars, along with making accusations against powerful men go away. And these practices still happen today. A fixer named Anthony Pelicano was arrested after it was discovered that he sent threatening notes to celebrities along with a dead fish. Pelicano was allegedly employed by stars such as Michael Jackson, Chris Rock, Kevin Costner, and Steven Spielberg. And finally at number 1, The Illuminati The Illuminati might be the most elusive group in Hollywood. Nobody is quite sure who they are, but everyone is pretty sure that some of the top celebrities in the world are a part of it. Most notably Beyonce, Jay-Z, Tom Hanks, and Lady Gaga. The subject of the Illuminati was brought to light again recently after David Dobrik did a podcast interview where he spoke about his experience with the Illuminati in Hollywood. He told the story to Zayn and Heath on their podcast, where David revealed that a girl that he knew was approached by the Illuminati and she was told she needed to sacrifice someone to them if she wanted to get famous. Apparently, this girl called her mother, who was okay to be the one sacrificed, but the girl did not end up going through with it. Months later, David and this girl were at a Hollywood party with old Hollywood A-listers. And when the topic of the Illuminati came up, the girl told the group about how she was approached and one of the A-listers told her not to get involved with them because the Illuminati ruined his best friend's life. Apparently, this A-lister's supposed best friend was Michael Jackson. In at number 10, Leighton Meester. You'd never be able to tell by how she carries herself today, but this Polish celebrity was actually born in a Texas prison while her mother was serving time for drug smuggling. Though her mother was allowed to spend 12 weeks in a halfway house with newborn Leighton, she was soon sent back to jail. Meester ended up living with her grandmother in Florida until her mother was released. At 10, her family moved to New York so that she could begin a career in modeling, only to then pack up again four years later and head to Los Angeles. Once in Hollywood, she began auditioning for various roles while taking acting classes, but she found it difficult to relate to kids her age because of her unstable upbringing, an upbringing that she kept hidden for a very long time. Her breakout acting role was when she portrayed Blair Waldorf on Gossip Girl, a character whose mother was the owner of a fashion empire which, as you can imagine, was a stark contrast from her actual childhood. Today though, she was worth an estimated $16 million. In at number 9, Selena Gomez In typical rumor mill fashion, when singer Selena Gomez decided to cancel part of her world tour in 2013, the gossip the magazines did all kinds of speculating as to why. They said she was battling a drug and alcohol addiction and listed a plethora of other unconfirmed conspiracies. The real reason that these types of stories kind of bubble up is because of how secretive celebrities are. Although, can we blame them? I'm sure there are some parts of their life that they just want to keep quiet. And turns out Gomez had been hiding a secret from the world, but it had nothing to do with indulging in addictions. Later on, Selena revealed to Billboard that she had to undergo chemotherapy to treat lupus, a chronic autoimmune disease. She mainly wanted to wait for the right time to talk about it, and when she did, she didn't want to be loud about the whole thing. Selena just wanted to wait so that she could properly use her platform to help spread awareness. In at number 8, Prince. Prince has always been a wild and eccentric character. I mean, in 1993, he literally changed his name to a symbol. If that's not the definition of an enigma, I don't know what is. Although this brilliant musician was hiding a big secret from the world. For his entire life, Prince had been coping with epilepsy, which is a serious medical condition. Although in 2009, he revealed this secret during an interview with PBS. In the interview, Prince told host Tavis Smiley, I'd never spoken about this before, but I was born epileptic. I used to have seizures when I was young. My mother and father didn't know what to do or how to handle it, but they did the best they could with what little they had. Although Prince said that after a while, he was able to keep his condition largely under control. He also noted though that this control over his epilepsy came by way of an angel that spoke to him. In at number 7, Katie Holmes. Just 5 days before Tom Cruise celebrated his 50th birthday, his wife of 5 years, Katie Holmes, filed for divorce in New York. The world was completely shocked by this secret being unearthed. The couple had been spotted together on the set of Oblivion in Iceland just days 
places before and they were strolling along like nothing was going on. Everything's fine. Oh, look at us. Apparently, Holmes orchestrated her escape, if you will, from Cruz very carefully. She set up secret meetings with lawyers and prepared to battle for sole custody of their daughter, Suri. Now, although the details leading up to this was kept secret, if you were watching the tabloids, one could assume that she was using them to shift the public's perspective. Katie Holmes used the sympathies of the tabloids to convince people that she was just this kind of passive wife of Tom Cruise was a maniac. Which is believable, right? The weirdest part was that right after her divorce, she had all of these events set up where there would be people there to photograph her. Normally, following a divorce, you would think that you'd, you know, maybe take some time to yourself, you know, take some time off from work maybe, but nope, nope. She just went right to the cover of the August issue of Elle magazine. In at number six, Caitlyn Jenner. Back in 1971, Jenner participated in their first decathlon, and by 1972, Jenner was competing in the decathlon at the Munich Olympics. At those Olympics, they finished 10th overall in the event, and in 1976, Jenner went on to win the gold in the decathlon at the Montreal Olympics and was declared by the media to be the world's greatest athlete. Jenner was able to accomplish all of this while living with a deep personal secret that wouldn't be shared with the public for, oh, I don't know, another 40 years? In 2014, Jenner announced that they were divorcing from longtime wife Kris Jenner, and just a year later, Jenner shocked the world when they revealed that they had undergone Jenner reassignment surgery. At the age of 65, Caitlyn Jenner introduced herself to the world, and by 2015, ESPN had awarded Jenner the Arthur Ashe Courage Award, and to this day, Caitlyn is one of the most prominent public figures to come out as transgender. Minor treatments. Have we Number five, closeted LGBT plus actors. To continue along the lines of morality clauses, another use of those clauses were to closet LGBT plus actors, even forcing some of them into sham marriages just to keep up appearances. This part of the clause revolved around not, quote, forfeiting the respect of the public. If the actor breached this part of the contract and had a relationship that was not approved, they would risk losing their entire salary for the role. Also, if the actor was outed, that would mean the end of their career either way. Gay actor Rock Hudson's struggle with his identity was revealed in the biography, All That Heaven Allows. In that book, it was exposed that a magazine planned to out him back in the day. At that time, Hudson's agent was the only person who knew the truth and proposed that he get married to squash the story. Hudson immediately married Phyllis Gates, but they divorced a couple years later. The secret stayed with him until days before he passed away. And at number four, Buddy Epson. Back in the days of old Hollywood, the makeup and prosthetics weren't what they are today. And oftentimes, the costumes that the actors would wear would be toxic. One fact is that the Wicked Witch's green face in The Wizard of Oz was made with toxic paint. Buddy Epson, who was supposed to play the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz, did not do so because he had an extreme reaction to the aluminum dust from the makeup. Because of this reaction, he was replaced in the movie with actor Jack Haley. Epson was ultimately hospitalized and forced out of Oz's production. For years after the movie, Epson claimed that the makeup caused permanent breathing problems for the rest of his life. In at number three, Jack Nicholson's sister was his mother. This one isn't really related to Hollywood, more so a secret that a Hollywood actor kept for a number of years. Jack Nicholson kept a huge secret from the public almost his entire life, mostly because he didn't know the truth until he was an adult. His entire life, Jack was raised with a sister named June, who was 17 years older than him. But when his parents died, Jack's older sister revealed that Jack was actually her child and her parents raised him as their own to hide the stigma from a young pregnancy. And Jack's parents were actually his grandparents the whole time. And at number two, Rihanna's father had a second life. Rihanna has spoken in the past about her tense relationship with her father. Throughout her life, he was addicted to alcohol and cheated on her mother essentially their whole marriage. But one day a horrible secret was revealed and apparently the entire time he was married, Rihanna's father had a second family. He had three other children as well, two daughters and a son. At one point, Rihanna was even forced to sue her father because he was selling services involving her name and likeness, although she later dropped that suit. And finally, number one, hidden children. Being a movie star means that you need to be perfect 24 seven. That includes hiding pregnancies from the public or trying to make them go away. Celebrities like Kylie Jenner kept her pregnancy totally a secret until after the birth to ensure the media did not affect her. However, there are tons of celebrities who completely hid secret love children from the public. Aerosmith's front Steven Tyler had a secret child well in his heyday, so he and the mother decided to hide the paternity from the child. When Liv Tyler was eight, she found out the truth and so did the media. Apparently, she was forced to put the pieces of the puzzle together herself when she could no longer ignore the resemblance she had to the singer and his other kids. So starting off at number 10, we have Chris Jenner. 
Kris Jenner revealed one of her most regretful secrets in her memoir, Kris Jenner and All Things Kardashian. In the book, she gave details on her affair with Todd Waterman that happened while she was still married to Rob Kardashian. She wrote in her memoir, quote, We had sex everywhere, all the time. Out of control, crazy, dangerous, wild sex. She admitted to doing it in cars, on the tennis court, in the pool house, and even the garage. Jenner opened up in interviews later that she thinks it was her age that caused her to make the mistake. Since she met Rob at the age of 18, then married him at 22, she was getting bored of their marriage after 10 years of being together. And when she was introduced to Todd, who was 10 years younger than her, she was smitten. Adding that people always think the grass is greener, but she deeply regrets her cheating. And at number 9, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore has been opening up about her horrible childhood and all the terrible things she did when she was just a preteen. In her book, she revealed that she got into drugs when she was just 10 years old. Writing quote, when I was 10 and a half, I was sitting in the back seat of a car driven by a friend's mother. She started smoking pot. I wanted to try it for a long time, but I was afraid if I asked, she'd say, no way, Drew, you're too young. However, she offered me some, and I said, sure, I'll try it. I was shocked. But she had that look to say, isn't it cute, a little girl getting stoned? And she also just revealed on an episode of her show with Paris Hilton that she went to behavioral schools when she was younger because she was so out of control, and she was locked in solitary many times. And at number 8, Woody Harrelson. Actor Woody Harrelson has been part of the film industry for decades now, and he's a true Hollywood legend. But while you might never expect him to have some familial skeletons in the closet, he does, and his father was actually a notorious hitman. And he actually committed the first assassination of a judge in the 20th century. But that was not his only one, he also killed a carpet salesman for $1,500 after a deal fell through. Apparently, Harrelson found out about his father's occupation when he was 12 years old. Charles Harrelson passed away in prison in 2009. And number 7, Rihanna. Rihanna is one of the most successful female musicians of all time, but she's another star with some family issues that she tried to keep a secret. Apparently, one day out of the blue, Rihanna discovered that her father, Ronald Fenty, had another secret family. And that meant that Rihanna had two sisters and one brother that she never knew existed, with all of the three siblings having different mothers. Her father was also addicted to alcohol, drugs, and sex. But after some time, it seems that Rihanna has been the bigger person, and they've been able to repair their relationship. And at number six, Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin is a woman known for making everyone around her laugh. But like with a lot of comedians, Kathy used humor to cope with a lot of the bad she was dealt when she was younger. In her autobiography, My Life on the D-List, she speaks about the trauma she endured because of her brother, Kenny. She wrote that he was inappropriate with her very often, and that led her to have a lot of internal issues. She also claims that when she was around him, she felt a dark and even violent presence. She even spoke further in the book about some things that she witnessed in adulthood, saying that she once saw him hurting his own wife. He eventually went to prison and then ended up passing away, but the bad memories still live with her. We are halfway through and we have Justin Timberlake admitted to a hookup. He was another victim of Ellen's game of Never Ever Have I Ever and he played with the infamous boy band in sync. They were all asked, Never Ever Have I Ever Slept With a Spice Girl. Justin was the only person to turn the card so that it said I have. The audience began cheering and of course they wanted to know which Spice Girl it was, but he refused to tell. We'll leave it up to fans to come to the conclusion though that it was Baby Spice. They started posting a video clip of an interview she did back in 2004 when she was asked if she had a one nighter with Justin because those were the rumors going on at the time. She responded with, we hung out and partied a bit and he's very sweet. He spoke about this first because otherwise I would have not said a word. He's very sweet. So she didn't really confirm nor deny. At number four, we have JLo snuck a man into her house. Now you're probably wondering why she would have to sneak a man into her house. Like she is an adult and she's also JLo, so she can basically do whatever she wants and invite people into her house at any time. But there is one thing she has to consider, and that is her kids, which is ultimately her biggest priority. During an interview one time, she was asked about her love life and if she has ever had to sneak a man into her house, and she revealed that she totally has. Fans were hoping she might spill the tea and tell us who it was, but she kept that little detail to herself and admitted that she has totally snuck a man in at night while her kids were sleeping. 
All right, guys, we have made it to number three, and it's a bit more serious. Melissa Joan Hart revealed on a talk show that she did drugs during her time as Sabrina the Teenage Witch. For a long time, she was the ultimate girl next door. Audiences fell in love with her instantly, and she quickly became a teen star. But back in 2013, she got candid during an interview and dished details about her wild side. She said she had drug fueled Hollywood nights and revealed shocking affairs with some of her co stars at the time. She said, I experimented with weed, ecstasy, and mushrooms for about a year and a half. Half. One of her most shocking stories was from 1999, where she said she took ecstasy one night at the Playboy Mansion, made out with a girl on the limo ride home, and then showed up to her Maxim photo shoot still high from the night before. Honestly, I would have never suspected this from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Kind of ruining my childhood a little bit. Kind of weird to think about, but hey. I don't judge. Taking over the number two spot is Leslie Jones used to work for Scientology. The SNL star was on the Ellen DeGeneres show when she was asked what job she worked before she was famous. Surely, she could have said any of her other jobs, like McDonald's or Walmart or something. I'm sure we all had a part time job. But instead, she was honest and admitted that she used to be a telemarketer for Scientology. She said, I lived in Glendale. I needed to pay the rent, and it was a very easy interview. I just acted crazy. They kind of still don't know I'm not a Scientologist. Scientologist. She cracked a joke to the camera and apologized to other Scientologists out there for revealing things. But she seemed to have no problem revealing the secret, despite all the controversy around the religion. In our number one spot is Holly Madison revealing dark secrets about Hugh Hefner. Many people would love to know all the juicy details of what really went on in the Playboy Mansion when Hugh Hefner was still with us. But thanks to his former girlfriend Holly Madison, we do. After being his number one girlfriend in the house and dating him for six years, she decided to write a tell all book called Down the Rabbit Hole back in 2015. The book exposed their age difference in the relationship and just everything that came along with it. She then went on to do some talk shows where she talked about personal experiences in their sex life, saying they used to engage in group sex in his bedroom, and also admitted to the wild parties that they had at the house, claiming that some of the girls would actually be drugged at the party and then taken advantage of. Some of her claims were pretty serious, and her former playmate said that she was lying and actually did not defend her statements. So basically, it's if you believe her or not. In the number 10, Mafia Connections. Back when Hollywood first started, it was rumored that mobster Mickey Cohen ran the Hollywood underworld. Back in 1950, it was apparently a known thing that Cohen ran many organized crime units in LA. And over the years, it's been revealed that a lot of big old Hollywood stars had connections to the Mafia. Even singer Wayne Newton had a connection to the Mafia, and it almost ended up costing his life. Newton was apparently friendly with Guido Pinossi, who was a member of the Gambino crime family. But Newton claimed he had no idea that he had mob ties. Then in 1980, there was a lot of scandal around Newton and the Aladdin Hotel that was co-owned with Mafia members. Rumors swirled that Newton was talking to police behind their backs. Then Newton was put on a witness list to testify against the family, which got him a legitimate threat against his life from the Mafia. Thank God he was able to survive the ordeal. In at number 9, Ageism Getting older is a fact of life, but in Hollywood they want to avoid it at all costs. And specifically for women, getting older means the end of your career. It's so bad that actors even try to hide their ages, so they can play younger roles. Actress Junie Ho Wang sued the website Internet Movie Database for revealing her true age to fans. Actress Jessica Lang has defied this ageism and has success in her 60s, but she admits it was more difficult as she got older. She said in one interview, quote, ageism is pervasive in this industry. It's not a level playing field. You don't often see women in their 60s playing romantic leads, yet you will see men in their 60s playing romantic leads with co-stars who are decades younger. In at number 8, Fake Fans In the age of social media, followers are everything, and having tons of followers can mean the difference between getting the part or not. But sadly, a lot of these followers are not real, and it's been exposed that millions of social media followers are fake and are purchased to make it seem like the star is more popular. Some of the world's most popular celebrities are a part of this. Some of the worst offenders are Ariana Grande with 46% fake, Taylor Swift with also 46% fake, and Miley Cyrus with 45% fake. It's worth noting that the celebrity is not always responsible for the fake followers, but they usually are. In at number 7, all press is good press. We've all heard the famous saying, and it seems that celebrities don't care if they're getting good or bad press, they just want to be talked about. People might not know it's actually a PR strategy to get bad press. Sometimes the negativity helps to sell something, or it can take attention off something else. One example of this was back in 2014, when it was revealed that Kim and Kanye were going to be on the cover of Vogue. At the time, Kim was not a fashion icon, and people were outraged. 
Some readers even threatened to cancel their Vogue subscriptions, calling Kimye disgraceful and inappropriate for the iconic publication. Anna Wintour ended up going forward with the cover and it was one of the most talked about issues of all time. We're not sure if it was all for press, but the negativity definitely helped to sell magazines. And at number 6, Body Issues Looking perfect is something that all celebrities struggle with, but having the perfect figure is sadly something that the industry forces you to have to be successful. Many celebrities have come forward to share their stories of disordered eating, which was caused by Hollywood bigwigs saying that they weighed too much. Even agents and managers have told a star that they need to lose weight in order to be cast. Former child actor Raven Simone admitted on The View that she was told at age 7, while starring on The Cosby Show, that she couldn't eat certain things because she was getting too big. This experience caused her to have a lifelong struggle with food. Demi Lovato has also been open about their eating issues. Demi remembered that when they were only 3 years old, they hoped that their stomach was flat. People are now fighting back against these standards and advocating for more body positivity in Hollywood, but it's a long road ahead. At number 5, Whitney Houston Whitney Houston's personal life was often a hot topic in the media during her life. People were obsessed with what went on behind closed doors, the good and the bad. Though a lot of her personal life was exposed, one thing that remained a secret until her tragic passing was a horrible incident that she had endured when she was younger. After some digging and a published documentary, the world learned that Whitney was once a victim of inappropriate contact. After the singer passed away, her former assistant told the documentary team that Whitney had once confided in her to tell her about what she had endured when she was younger. The assistant told cameras, quote, Whitney looked at me and said, Mary, I was harmed at a young age too, but it wasn't by a man, it was a woman. She had tears in her eyes. She says, mommy doesn't know the things that we went through, end quote. Though she never spoke publicly about what happened to her, it is believed that Whitney once hinted at it in an interview when she got really emotional when talking about adults taking advantage of children. At number 4, George Michael Imagine being portrayed negatively in the media for basically your whole career just for the narrative to make a 180 after your passing. This is the case with singer George Michael and how his public image changed after he passed away. During his career, George was seen as scandalous and the media really dug into this while he was alive, but after he passed away in 2016, the truth about who George Michael really was came out and it was a very different narrative. He took the secret of his philanthropy to his grave, but many people wished that he was around to be appreciated for giving back to the people. The public came to learn that the singer made many large donations to a wide array of charities like cancer support groups and the Terrence Higgins Trust, which is an HIV awareness group. He kept all of his donations a secret and made sure that no one receiving these donations knew that he was behind it. He was a secret angel giving back to people without receiving any credit, which just shows that this help was genuine, not just for good press. At number 3, Prince. Another celebrity who was something of a secret angel of sorts was Prince. After he passed away in 2016, secrets about the singer started to come out, some of those secrets being about his philanthropy. One person, an environmentalist who worked for the Green Jobs Act, came forward to talk about one of the donations that they had once received anonymously from Prince, where they said that they received a check for $50,000. At first, they sent the check back because it was so out of the blue and they didn't really trust it, but to their surprise, the check came back again this time with a phone call. The environmentalist then went on to say that the person on the phone said, quote, I cannot tell you who the money is coming from, but his favorite color is purple. End quote. On top of this anonymous donation, Prince also co-founded an educational effort to help teach minority youths technology called hashtag yes we code, and he also made a donation to the family of Trayvon Martin. Speaking out about Prince's philanthropy, his ex-wife said that he never wanted to make these donations public so as to not overshadow the charity or the case. At number 2, Anthony Perkins Known for his role as Norman Bates in the Hitchcock film Psycho, actor Anthony Perkins lived a pretty quiet and private life, but he also took a very big secret to his grave. When news broke of his passing in 1992, it came as a sudden shock to people. But what the public didn't know at the time was that Anthony had been secretly battling a serious illness that he kept from the public. For two years before his passing, the actor had been secretly receiving treatment for AIDS. Speaking out about her husband's treatment, Anthony's wife told sources, quote, he went twice to stay at a hospital and once as an outpatient and we went under another name. You think that this man has spent his entire life giving people so much pleasure in show business and this is his reward. He can't even be himself at the end." End quote. Anthony knew that when the public found out about his condition after his passing, there would be a lot of questions as to why he never publicly revealed his condition, and so before he died, he wrote a statement to be read once he passed on. In the statement, the actor wrote, quote, I chose not to go public about having AIDS because 
friends, to misquote Casablanca, I'm not much at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of one old actor doesn't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. End quote. And finally, at number one, Billy Tipton. Billy Tipton was a famous jazz musician who kept a huge secret from everyone. This secret was so hush hush that not even his closest friends or family knew. Billy had a pretty solid career in the beginning. The 40s and 50s were Billy's time to shine, rising to fame, and taking American jazz by storm. Billy's career started to decline, however, after he declined an offer for a recording contract and to open for Liberace. After that, the musician started to fade out of the spotlight. Spotlight. Over the course of his life, Billy was married five times, adopted three kids, and was considered to be a real family man. But one day, when Billy suddenly collapsed, his secret was revealed. While paramedics were trying to save him, it was discovered that Billy wasn't biologically male. Like I mentioned before, no one knew, literally no one, so this came as a shock to everyone. It turns out that Billy dressed as a man in order to be allowed into the world of jazz. Because of this huge secret, Billy was forced to live a pretty private life in order to avoid being caught. In at number 10, Paris Hilton's boarding school. In 2020, Paris Hilton opened up about her traumatic childhood after keeping it a secret for most of her life. In her documentary, This Is Paris, Hilton alleged that she'd been subjected to toxic and harmful treatment while attending Provo Canyon School in Utah, which was a boarding school for troubled teens. Hilton revealed that while she was there, she would be isolated in solitary confinement for no reason and be forced to take pills that made her feel numb. Paris and her entire family kept this a secret for her entire time that Paris was a socialite and an A-list star. Along with her difficult childhood, Paris also exposed that her voice was faked, and she made it sound higher to play into the dumb blonde stereotype. In at number 9, Joan Crawford. Back in old Hollywood, they didn't have the beauty products that we have today, and actors were forced to use alternative measures to look their best on camera. Actress Joan Crawford took this to the extreme and admitted to soaking her eyes in boric acid every week to make them, quote, sparkle on camera. She exposed this years later in her autobiography called My Way of Life. When talking about this beauty regimen, Crawford Crawford said once a week she'd steam her face, apply a mask, and soak her eyes in boric acid, casually instructing, quote, while the mask is working, place pads soaked in witch hazel and boric acid over your eyelids and put on your favorite music. Obviously, this was an extremely bad idea that could have made her go blind, but she risked it all just to look better. And at number eight, the black box. We are just now scratching the surface of the horrific things that child actors had to endure in the days of old Hollywood. Sadly, one of the punishments adults on set would use when a child actor misbehaved was putting them in a thing called a black box. This was a closed in box where the actor was forced to sit on an actual block of ice as punishment. Shirley Temple spoke of this box in her autobiography and called it an exploitation of her childish innocence. In her book, she said that if any child on the set of Baby Burlesque Smith behaved, they were locked in a windowless sound booth dubbed the punishment box, where they'd be forced to sit on a block of ice. Temple was sent to the box several times in her tenure as a child star. Temple added, quote, far as I can tell, the black box did no lasting damage on my psyche. Its lesson of life, however, was profound and unforgettable. Time is money. Wasted time means wasted money means trouble. And at number seven, Jackie Cooper. Stories like this are so horrible, I truly hope this is still not happening today. Actor Jackie Cooper shared a terrible memory of when he was working on set. While he was filming the movie Skippy, Cooper was not able to make himself cry. So the director, who happened to be his uncle, threatened to kill his dog if he didn't cry. Norman Turog, the uncle and director, left lasting trauma on Cooper. In his autobiography, Cooper said about the situation, quote, I began sobbing so hysterically that it was almost too much for the scene. Tarog had to quiet me down by saying perhaps my dog had survived the shot, that if I hurried and calmed down a little and did the scene the way he wanted, we would go see if my dog was still alive. Cooper ended up earning the nomination for Best Actor in a leading role for his performance in 1931. He was just nine years old, and he's still the youngest nominee ever for the award. And at number six, morality clauses. Back in the day, the studios basically owned the actors that they signed, and they made them sign their life away. Once they became an actor for a major studio, the actor totally belonged to them and was not able to make major life decisions without consulting executives. Many of these clauses forced female actors to stay unmarried so they were more marketable to men. Others even forced women to terminate their pregnancies so they would not waste any time that could be spent filming. The studios claimed that these clauses were to, quote, prevent stars from destroying their value through scandal. Stars like Lana Turner, Judy Garland, and Jeanette McDonald were all held to these clauses and they would disguise the hospital visits and claim they were for ear infections or in at number five, Daniel Radcliffe. Where does the time go? It feels like only yesterday that we were watching the adventures of Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Although because we were so engulfed in following Daniel Radcliffe bring this character to life, we failed to notice when he grew up. Not only that, but his confession that he had a drinking problem was sadly something that no one wanted to hear about. Thankfully, he beat this in 2010, but the actor himself has 
revealed that he would show up to the set of Harry Potter still intoxicated from the night before. Daniel said that there were times during his teen years where he felt like he was being watched and while admitting that most of that may have been in his own head, he still didn't know how to deal with it. During an interview with Off Camera, he said, in my case the quickest way to forget about the fact that you're being watched is to get very drunk. In an interview for The Guardian, he said that he turned to alcohol to cope with the pressure of fame and potential failure. And as I mentioned, he has been sober since 2010, but said that his friends played a big role in his recovery. Although he did reveal some pretty crazy stuff about being intoxicated while filming Harry Potter. Daniel said, I can honestly say I never drank at work on Harry Potter. I went into work still drunk, but I never drank at work. I can point to many scenes where I'm just gone, dead behind the eyes. That really changes that movie series for me. In number 4, Jackie Chan. There are very few actors in the world that have forsaken their health and safety like Jackie Chan just in order to do their own stunts. As a master of the martial arts, he has put his skills to the test both physically and comedically. Over the course of his illustrious career, he has injured himself countless times but somehow remains unfazed. It's most likely because Jackie grew up in a family of risk takers. His mother, Lee Lee Chan, was a drug dealer and his father actually was a secret agent for the Nationalist Guard. His father ended up fleeing to Hong Kong after Mao took power in 1945. 49, and his mother was forced to abandon her first two children due to extreme poverty. Jackie Chan's parents actually met in the most bizarre way possible, a reason for meeting that Jackie would keep quiet for many years. Lee Lee and Charles Chan met when he busted her for drug possession. He ended up taking pity on her and then just letting her go. I mean, what an origin story for this Hollywood superstar. In number 3, Richard Pryor. More often than not, comedians have very tragic backstories and that can certainly be said for the legendary comedian Richard Pryor. The actor and comic struggled with addiction throughout his life, he was married 7 times and even lit himself on fire once. However, his upbringing was even more of a personal struggle. Richard Pryor's mother Gertrude was a prostitute who worked out of his grandmother Marie's brothel. When Gertrude abandoned her son when he was only 10 years old, he was left in the hands of his abusive grandmother. Pryor's paternal side also didn't do him any favors. His father, Leroy, was a hustler and a boxer, yet despite his own demons and secrets, Pryor was able to turn his pain into comedy. In at number 2, 50 Cent. A lot of rappers talk about living a gangster lifestyle, but some of them actually do it. 50 Cent might seem egotistical and talk a big game, but the rapper has had a very tough childhood. The rapper whose real name is Curtis Jackson was born in Queens, New York, and his mother Sabrina was just 15 years old when she gave birth to him. Sabrina ended up turning to drug dealing to feed her son and became one of the most notorious drug dealers in the area. Unfortunately, she was killed in an unexplained fire when Jackson was only 8 years old. Still, he would go on to follow in her footsteps with drug dealing and was even shot 9 times in May of 2000. At the age of 19, an undercover police officer had arrested Jackson for selling 4 vials of cocaine and then his home was raided 3 weeks later. He was then sentenced to 3 to 9 years and he went to a boot camp instead to get his GED, but at this time he was already rapping and took on the name 50 Cent, which actually was an original moniker of a broken crook from the 1980s. Bunch of secrets in there for you that you can read on an autobiography page. Last but certainly not at least our number one spot, Keith Richards. Nobody who started their career in the music business in the 1960s, and I mean nobody, has remained untouched by the glorious days of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. This is especially valid for the musicians of the legendary rock bands, most of whom have admitted to having consumed all kinds of substances in their time. But none of those are as bizarre as the one that Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones is said to have sampled. In 2007, a magazine revealed that the 72 year old guitarist once mixed his father's ashes with cocaine and then snorted him. The veteran of drug marathons was convinced that his father wouldn't have objected at all and added that he went down pretty well. Many years later, Richards realized that being still alive after decades of drug and alcohol abuse was just pure luck. He also advised that others not follow in his footsteps and definitely abstain from snorting their parents. And at number 10, Paul Stanley. The Kiss frontman looks very different now than when the band was in its height, and people think the change is due to cosmetic procedures. It's rumored that he had a nose job, facelift, along with other fillers and Botox. Some evidence also suggests he may have underwent an eyebrow lift and a lip job. Stanley has only admitted to one procedure, and that was an ear reconstructive surgery. He got this because he was born with a condition, microtia, which caused him to not have a right ear. While speaking with SiriusXM's Jim and Sam video interviews, Stanley also admitted to having his rotator cuffs repaired, along with a hip replacement and cartilage repaired in his knees, but nothing related to his appearance. In at number 9, Michaela Romanini. For many years, she was one of Italy's biggest stars and was titled one of the most beautiful women in the country. But after getting many cosmetic procedures, she was left looking completely unrecognizable from her former self. We're not sure exactly what procedures that she's gotten, but it's clear her lips, eyes, and skin look drastically different. Some media outlets even say she looks like an alien. But even with all the criticism around her looks, she apparently does not regret any of her procedures. Some reports even claim she is now addicted to surgery, specifically lip collagen injections. 
And at number 8, Kenny Rogers. The late Kenny Rogers decided to undergo cosmetic surgery, and it changed his appearance so drastically that it really hurt his confidence. He told CBS host Gail King in 2012, quote, I was trying to hide myself. I had the money to do it, and I had time off. It was one of those things that I think everybody's like, you look at yourself and you go, could I be better if I did this or I did that? Adding that he regrets doing anything, and he's always very curious as to what he would have looked like without it. He also said that the changes in his appearance did not affect his music or singing voice, but rather his confidence to get on stage and make music. He even cancelled some shows during his 2018 farewell tour because he was battling health challenges, which some speculated was due to the surgeries. His worst procedure was a botched eyelid lift. He said about the procedure in 2006, quote, I'm not happy about it. It drives me crazy. And at number 7, Joan Rivers. The late Joan Rivers is a comedy legend, and she's been very open about the countless cosmetic procedures she underwent through the years. Just some of the procedures that she's admitted to include a facelift, neck lift, and eyelid surgery. However, she passed away at the age of 81 due to complications with a cosmetic procedure. Her daughter Melissa spoke about the tragedy in a memoir that she wrote about her mother called The Book of Joan, Tales of Mirth, Mischief, and Manipulation. In the book, Melissa states that Joan received 348 cosmetic procedures over her lifetime because she was always insecure about her looks. Melissa also appeared on the Today Show and spoke about her mother's tragic death following complications during a throat surgery. Saying, quote, In my opinion, it was 100% preventable. Melissa actually filed a lawsuit against the clinic, saying they were not prepared and very unprofessional. And at number six, Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley has no signs of aging on her face, even though she is 76 years old. But she does look completely unrecognizable from her former self. Some say this is due to botched procedures over the years. A few years back, she revealed that low grade silicone was injected into her face, the type that mechanics use to grease car parts. This was done by fraudulent doctor, Dr. Daniel Serrano, who was later sent to prison for his illegal tactics. A rep for Priscilla said, quote, Priscilla Presley was one of many documented victims of Dr. Serrano. An investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led to his imprisonment. Ms. Presley dealt with this matter years ago and everything is now well. However, one doctor does not think the botched injections explain her puffy, waxy face, and he insisted that this is due to repeated laser treatments and Botox. One commenter wrote about her look, quote, What has Priscilla Presley done to her face? It looks like she has a scary mask on. Halfway number 5, Jackie Stallone. The late mother of A-list actor Sylvester Stallone revealed that she had many plastic surgery regrets in a 2013 interview. When asked if she had had work done, she said, quote, I do and actually I've gotten too much. I look like I've got a mouthful of nuts. It's Juvederm, too much of it. I feel as though I look like a chipmunk. She continued, Juvederm plumps you up here, pointing at her cheeks, but it looks like you have a mouthful of walnuts. She then explained that she's had about three chemical peels and about 50 injections over her lifetime. She revealed that she had never tried Botox because naturally she did not have wrinkles in her forehead. Jackie claims that she believes in plastic surgery, but thinks that Beverly Hills doctors are overrated hacks, saying that she went to other states to have work done because she doesn't trust Beverly Hills surgery. And at number 4, Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell shocked fans when he appeared at the red carpet for the America's Got Talent quarterfinals, looking totally unrecognizable. His face was discussed at length in the media, and on the Absolute Radio Breakfast show, Dave Barry said, quote, I remember Simon Cowell when he had his first face. I've known him a long time. The current one is a bit slipknot. It's actually quite terrifying. With the host noting that his surgery was probably done in the dark if it came out that badly, and that a man with his money should have gotten the best surgeon in the world. After stepping out, Dr. Nyla Raja, a leading cosmetic doctor, said that he had gone a bit overboard with the Botox, adding, quote, adding, quote, I suspect Simon's fallen complexion is a combination of weight loss and also too much Botox. And at number three, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is the sister that gets the most flack for her cosmetic enhancements, because it seems like she looks different every week. While speaking about rumors about her plastic surgery, she told host Andy Cohen that she's had one nose job, along with fillers, but not Botox. Years earlier on her talk show Cocktails with Chloe, she also admitted to having facial fillers dissolved, saying, quote, My face was so messed up I had to go and get this whole thing dissolved. It was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again, and I'm almost like, I swear things are still in my face. Although people don't believe she hasn't touched fillers, because her face has changed dramatically since then. And at number 2, Lisa Rinna. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is known for her signature pout that she achieved through the help of fillers. But she's gotten some other procedures that she's regretted. Apparently after she tried Botox, she was totally botched. Lisa said that she got Botox in her cheeks because all of her friends were getting it done and she wanted to try it out for herself. But after the procedure was done, Lisa said, quote, 
I saw a photo and I was like, oh Jesus, that's not good, that is not good. But after that experience, she's learned that less is more, saying that she still likes Botox, but won't do anything that changes the shape of her face. And finally, at number one, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton is my queen and I love her so much, but it's clear to her fans that she's changed a lot over the years, and she's been vocal that the changes are due to cosmetic enhancements. She told CBS Sunday Morning in 2019, quote, It's true that I look artificial, but I believe that I'm totally real. My look is really based on a country girl's idea of glam. I wasn't naturally pretty, so I make the most of anything I've got. Dolly's admitted to many procedures, including a facelift, eye surgery, breast implants, liposuction, excess skin removal, lip injections, Botox, and more. Dolly also looks phenomenal at her age of 75 and says that she will look as young as her plastic surgeons allow. In at number 10, Dorit Kemsley. Dorit Kemsley has starred on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills since season 7, and her face has changed considerably since she's been in the spotlight. If you look even further back, Dorit looks unrecognizable from her younger self, leading many to believe she's had lots of cosmetic enhancements. Dorit addressed these rumors in a recent Instagram AMA. When asked if she'd ever had plastic surgery, she responded, quote, The only plastic surgery that I've had done is my boobs. It drives me crazy when people say I've had plastic surgery on my face. I've done filler and Botox and I work with masterful makeup artists who can transform your face. She has also addressed this topic in multiple reunions for the show. In last year's reunion, she said she thinks it's comical when people claim that she's had a facelift or a bunch of surgeries. She also revealed in this year's reunion that she's never had a nose job. But honestly, a lot of fans do not believe her. And at number 9, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox was at the center of plastic surgery rumors when she all of a sudden looked unrecognizable from her former self. Courtney addressed the rumors and revealed that she did not have plastic surgery, but she did get fillers and Botox every now and then, which led to layers and layers of change that she just didn't like. Cox told New Beauty, quote, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. And at number 8, Janice Dickinson. Janice Dickinson has been deemed the world's first supermodel, starting her career very early, then transitioning into reality TV and publishing. But as she got older, her looks changed in ways that she didn't like, and she started to get procedures to stay younger. She admitted that she got her first cosmetic procedure at the age of 33. In an interview with ABC News, Janice revealed all her procedures. Quote, Brow lift, yes, I've had my brow lifted. She said I was getting a bit of sag coming down my face, so I lifted them up. Yes, I've had collagen put in, injections. It's for the fine lines on the face. Because of all her cosmetic work, she looks unrecognizable from who we knew in her modeling days. In at number 7, Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith says she didn't realize how much she had changed from her cosmetic enhancements until she heard what fans were saying about her appearance. She said, quote, I didn't realize until people started saying, oh my god, what has she done? I was so hurt I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all of the shit this other woman doctor had put in. Hopefully I look more normal now. Melanie also spoke about how her many divorces and substance abuse affected not only her life but her appearance as well. But following her split from Antonio Banderas, she says she's in a healthy place and is hanging out with her girlfriends. And at number 6, Tara Reid. Tara Reid underwent multiple plastic surgeries after she started a few hit movies, including American Pie and the Pussycat Dolls. In 2004, after many of the surgeries were botched, she was forced to undergo corrective surgeries in 2007. She told Us Weekly, quote, I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. After the botched surgery, she was unable to land the same high caliber projects that she had once before, and she was only considered for spoof movies like Sharknado. She told People in 2008, quote, In my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it. Now she's terrified of ever getting surgery or cosmetic enhancements again. Halfway number five, Reed Ewig. While modern family actor Reed Ewig was suffering from body dysmorphia, he underwent several cosmetic procedures, all of which he regrets. He told the Huffington Post that after all the swelling from the surgeries went down, the results were not all what he expected. Adding, quote, I vowed I would never get cosmetic surgery again, even though I was still deeply insecure about my looks. It took me about six months before I was comfortable with people even looking at me. I wish I I could go back and undo all the surgeries. While he was recovering, he decided to take some time away from acting. And at number 4, Jennifer Grey. The legendary Dirty Dancing star was known for her unique nose that really made her stand out from the crowd. However, in 1989, after she became a huge star, she decided to get a nose job and made her nose 
look like every other big star, and sadly her career shrank alongside her small nose. The nose job was pretty minor, but because her nose was so distinct before, it made her completely unrecognizable. She said about the regrettable procedure, quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. And because nobody recognized her, she didn't have the star power the movies were looking for and she stopped landing roles as a result. In at number 3, Rumor Willis. After Rumor stepped out looking very different from her usual self, fans speculated that she went under the knife. It was rumored that she received a nose job, reduced her chin, and had lip injections. It's not a stretch to assume that she's had work done, as rumors admitted she supports plastic surgery and would be open if she went that route. She said, quote, In Hollywood, I feel like there's a big stigma about hiding things, but people aren't stupid. If all of a sudden you jump from being an A cup to like double D's, people know. I just think you have to be who you are and own it, and not be ashamed to feel like you have to apologize. Rumors also opened up about feeling pressure from social media to change her looks because people are more vocal behind a computer screen. In at number 2, Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne was first known to the world as a Disney star on the show Shake It Up. But as she grew older, she changed more than what was possible naturally. Bella has been accused of having a nose job, boob job, and getting lip filler. It's speculated that she had her first lip injection when she was just 16 and had a rhinoplasty the following year. As for breast implants, one source claims she went from a 34A to a 34DD. Bella has not commented directly on these surgery accusations, but from the changes, it's assumed that she is not au naturel. And finally, number one, Charlotte Crosby. The Geordie Shore star has been getting surgery ever since she got on TV and has changed drastically. It's at the point where some fans are worried she actually has a surgery addiction. Charlotte openly admitted that she'd had a nose job back in 2016. She also admits to getting lip filler once a year and getting a boob job to correct a medical condition she was born with that gave her a quote uniboob. The first cosmetic enhancement she received was a tattoo on her eyebrow so she wouldn't need to fill them in. At first, Charlotte hid her rhinoplasty from fans, but weeks later, she posted a YouTube vlog about the entire process. After she posted photos from a holiday she took to Brazil, the comments accused her of getting more work done. One comment said, She should have stopped with the surgery, Botox, and fillers a long time ago. Another person wrote, Poor girl, her face is badly swollen. Is it an allergy? At number 10, Carrot Top. American comedian Carrot Top is pretty well known for his signature looks. With his bright orange hair and crazy expressions, no one can mistake him, that's for sure. However, over the years, there's been speculation that the comedian has undergone a few cosmetic surgeries that have him looking a little different. Some saying that he's actually been botched, but the overall consensus is that he looks pretty unrecognizable. Though he's denied ever having received plastic surgery and mostly credits his looks to his gym habits, there are others out there who think that there's something a little artificial that the comedian has been hiding from his fans because though his body is different from working out, his face has been altered as well. It is believed that the comedian has received an eyebrow lift, Botox injections, lip filler, and laser peels, which many people see as the reasons his freckles are less evident. Because of the fillers and lifts, a lot of people think his face has been left looking a little too stiff and a little too fake. In at number 9, Lara Flynn Boyle. Boyle was stunning in the 90s when she acted on shows like Twin Peaks and The Practice. But in the early 2000s, her look started changing drastically, specifically her lips. Over time, her face started to look very unnatural, and nobody wanted to cast her anymore. Boyle commented before her procedures that she was scared of aging, as she knew she would lose work. But her botched procedures are what have actually blacklisted her from the industry. In 2010, Paul S. Nassif told the Daily Mail, quote, Lara Flynn Boyle appears to have had a rhinoplasty, lip augmentation, Botox, facial fillers, and possibly a brow lift and facelift. Also saying she should refrain from any more procedures. Another plastic surgeon agreed, telling the outlet that she had gone overboard with the fillers for her cheeks and lips. At number 8, Jocelyn Wildenstein. When you look up the most drastic celebrity appearances, a photo of Jocelyn Wildenstein will no doubt appear in your search. Her looks are a prime example of someone taking plastic surgery too far and looking nothing like they did before. Though she was a model back in the day, too much plastic surgery has altered her appearance forever to the point where she's mostly plastic, mostly botched, and looks like a completely different person. Jocelyn apparently started changing her appearance to make her husband happy and she even modeled her look after big cats because her late husband was a big cat lover. She reportedly kept a lynx as a pet and she said that she thought that the big cat's eyes were so perfect she wanted to look just like it. Unfortunately, she went too far with her look. Over the years, she's gotten surgery on her eyes to make them look more cat-like, as well as receiving brow and facelifts, injections, implants, and more. She's loved looking nothing like how she did before all the surgery, with her entire face being remade into something completely new and unnatural. Even though her appearance is quite 
quite drastic, Jocelyn has said that she's not done altering her looks. And at number 7, Courtney Love. Courtney Love has admitted to having three major procedures to change her looks, but unfortunately she hasn't been happy with any of them. The first procedure was a liposuction on her butt. She claimed that it actually ruined her figure, and she discouraged anyone else from getting it done. She also had a mouth enhancement, which she wasn't happy with either. She said after the procedure, quote, I just want the mouth that God gave me back. It was perfectly cute and I had nice big lips. The last procedure she has admitted to was a nose job, although after the original procedure, she ended up getting it corrected because she didn't like it, even calling it a quote little beak at one point. All this aside, Courtney looks very beautiful now, although it's clear she looks vastly different than her natural self. At number 6, Dana Delaney. Getting Botox is a pretty common thing these days. Getting injectables seems to be the newest trend, probably because it's one of the least invasive plastic surgery procedures that you can receive. But just because it's not considered a major procedure, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's no risk, and Desperate Housewives actress Dana Delaney can tell you all about it. Dana opened up about one of the worst procedures that she's received that completely changed her face. In 2003, Dana decided to go in and receive some Botox injections after her dermatologist convinced her to try it out, and when she went in for the procedure, things went horribly wrong when the doctor performing the procedure injected the needle into the wrong place in her forehead and actually caused quite a bit of damage. When he injected the syringe into her forehead, the needle ended up striking a nerve. This then created a huge hematoma, and it actually ended up killing the nerve that was struck. Unfortunately for Dana, this mistake was pretty serious because it ended up affecting the muscle in her right eye, which caused her eye to begin to droop down slightly. Dana spoke out about the experience saying, quote, I noticed it more than anybody else, but I was symmetrical before and now I'm not. End quote. This made her look pretty unrecognizable since it literally changed the symmetry of her face. Halfway at number 5, Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid was voted the most beautiful person in the world at one point, but it's hard to believe she's all natural. Bella never talks about the work she's had done, but from before and after pictures, it's clear that she's had a lot of enhancements. During a 2018 interview, she responded to comments about her plastic surgery, saying, quote, People think I got all this surgery or did this or that, and you know what? We can do a scan of my face, darling. I'm scared of putting fillers into my lips. I wouldn't want to mess up my face. But with the before and afters that we have, it's hard to claim that it's all puberty. The most common surgeries that have been rumored are a nose job, cat eye, eyebrow lift, and either fillers or surgery to sharpen her face. At number 4, Priscilla Presley. This is by far the worst plastic surgery story out there because not only did Priscilla end up botched, but she also drastically changed her looks. Priscilla Presley, the wife of the late Elvis Presley, suffered through a plastic surgery nightmare when she went in to receive injectables from a very unreliable source. Priscilla had begun dabbling in plastic surgery, undergoing a few procedures such as injections and facelifts, but when she fell victim to an unlicensed cosmetic surgeon, that's when things got really, really bad. This unlicensed professional gave Priscilla injections in her cheeks and used products and techniques that were unapproved. To make matters worse, it turned out that the silicone that this so-called doctor used on Priscilla was not medical grade and was instead a substance similar to that which mechanics use for car parts. Thankfully, Priscilla got justice against this doctor, and the individual who performed these procedures got jail time, but sadly, Priscilla as well as a handful of other people were left as botched victims of this mad doctor, and Priscilla's looks were never the same. And at number 3, LaToya Jackson. LaToya Jackson has had major plastic surgery over the years, it's to a point that her past self is completely unrecognizable. The most noticeable procedure LaToya's had is a nose job. It was reported in 2017 that she was allegedly one nose job away from completely losing her nose. Experts say that the outer flare of her nostrils have been overly narrowed to a point of near disappearance. Another doctor even claimed that every surgery that LaToya gets in the future carries the risk of her face collapsing due to all the damage from past procedures. Her skin tone is also much lighter than before, and it's rumored that she has bleached her skin. At number 2, Mickey Rourke. For a long time, people have made some pretty harsh comments about Mickey Rourke's face. In his early career, he was praised for having a baby face and boyish charm, but now, not so much. A lot of people believe that he doesn't look anything like he used to, and a lot of that has to do with his botched plastic surgery. Mickey has spoken out about his altered appearance, saying that boxing is really what caused things to go downhill for him. Because he went in for reconstructive surgery from things that had been damaged through boxing, his face has never been the same. Speaking further on this, Mickey said, quote, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. I had my nose broken twice, I had five operations on my nose, and one on a smashed cheekbone." End quote. If Mickey had gone to someone else for these procedures, maybe things would have been different.
And finally, number one, Cardi B. Cardi B started out as a reality TV star and turned into a Grammy winning rapper. Since she's been in the spotlight for so long, it's clear she's gone under the knife to change how she looks. She's not hiding it either. Cardi often talks about her surgeries. She was even forced to put some of her concerts on hold to recover from plastic surgery. She had complications from liposuction and was still in the process of recovering from breast implants, so her feet started to swell uncontrollably, making her unable to perform. When critics called her lazy for getting the lipo, she said she doesn't have time to work out. Cardi has also gotten implants in her butt to give her an hourglass figure, and it's speculated that she's gotten some Botox and filler as well. And at number 10, Jamila Jamil. Jamila Jamil is known for her signature black hair and split cut bangs, but she decided to make a big change for fall and revealed on Instagram that she dyed her hair a beautiful pumpkin shade. At first, she captioned the photo, OK Boomer, then she changed the caption to read, Multi Pass. The hair color change is most likely related to her new role as Marvel supervillain, Titania, in the new She Hulk series. This color is a big change for Jamila, but it's been very popular among other celebrities for fall. Both Sophie Turner and Gigi Hadid have also dyed their hair similar shades of orange recently. In at number 9, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen is known for his signature look, and he hasn't changed much during his time in Hollywood. Until now. On May 7, Seth revealed his new look that he's been sporting while filming the movie Pam and Tommy, a Hulu series based on Baywatch star Pamela Anderson and her husband, Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee, detailing the scandal after an intimate tape of the couple was leaked. In the photo set, he shares photos of Lily James and Sebastian Stan, along with photos of himself, writing that his co-stars are much cooler than him. Not only did Seth shave his beard, he's also rocking a mullet haircut. The comments on the photo are all shocked, with fans hardly able to recognize Rogan in the photos. And at number 8, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish's changing hair colors are pretty much synonymous with her brand at this point, and she is most famous for her bright green roots and black hair look. But she decided to make a big change in 2021 by bleaching her hair blonde and getting an old Hollywood haircut. Since Billy is usually very edgy, this was a big change for fans. Billy decided to answer some questions about the hair in an informal Q&A session. She revealed that she kept the hair a secret from her fans for six weeks because that's how long it took to get the hair color just right. She even included a photo of her first dye job where her hair was completely two tones. She also revealed after the bleaching, her hair is shockingly healthier than ever. As a person with bleached hair, I have no idea how that's possible, but very good for her. I wish that was the same for me. And at number 7, Dylan O'Brien. Dylan O'Brien shocked fans when he shared his new bleach blonde buzz cut with the world. The Maze Runner star is known for his scruffy brown hair, but his style took a complete 180 when he shaved and bleached his hair for his role in the upcoming film For You. The movie's official TikTok showed off O'Brien's transformation while shooting was underway in August of 2021. Along with the hairstyle change, he also has a sleeve of fake tattoos. Dylan plays Colin in the movie. The look at fans so crazy that Dylan's name actually started trending on Twitter shortly after the TikTok was posted. In at number 6, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian generally isn't known for changing up her hairstyle. She usually sports brown or blonde hair, usually long and straight. But she recently revealed that her natural hair is really different than what you might expect, and she has beautiful curls. She shared a carousel featuring multiple images and videos of her natural hair, with the caption reading, quote, I rarely wear my natural hair texture, felt kinda cute with it, please don't ruin the feeling. The texture is a mix of loose, highlighted waves and curls that reach about her shoulders. She even shared a picture of herself when she was younger, with huge, bouncy curls. She says her hair looks very different now because of straightening treatments. Halfway number 5, Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union showed off a huge hair transformation in July of 2021 when she revealed she got a super short haircut. She captioned the photos of her new look saying, quote, So I did a thing. The movies always show women cutting their hair when all is lost, but I wanted to know the feeling of making a change when things are gravy. It is different and it's foreign to me, but I'm happy with this new new. Union was flooded with compliments on the new look, with many specifically loving her message that not all big changes need to happen as a result of trauma. My current bleach blonde hair is a result of a breakup, so I can resonate with the message that, yeah, hair change through trauma, that is what this is, but I've had it for three years since, so I mean, I'm happy about it. <laughs> and at number four, Christina Aguilera. Christina is known for her classic blonde locks that she's had for most of her career, but she just decided to switch things up, maybe for Halloween and she's now rocking a gorgeous auburn shade. The stunning photo showed Christina sitting at a table wearing gloves, along with wearing heavy black makeup and a smoky eye. Fans are absolutely losing it over the transformation. One commented, quote, Honey, I just almost fell down a flight of stairs when I saw this picture. The next wrote in all caps, the world is ready, and a third said, oh my god, I'm screaming. 
This is not the only change that Christina has made recently. She also revealed she lost 50 pounds with a series of diet, exercise, and lifestyle changes. And at number three, Tom Cruise. Legendary actor Tom Cruise shocked fans last weekend while he was out at a baseball game. The actor is known for his looks, so fans were shocked to see he looked different than usual. There were no major changes, but for some reason, Tom Cruise did not look like himself. He watched Game 2 of the National League Division Series, watching the San Francisco Giants play the LA Dodgers with his son Connor. After the photos went viral on Twitter, fans were shocked to learn that the person in the photo was Tom Cruise. It was speculated this was a result of weight gain, some even thought he might have gotten some bad filler or Botox. One comment said, quote, This looks like someone wearing Tom Cruise's face. But others actually defended the actor, saying he most likely just gained some weight between movies and we shouldn't fat shame him for looking normal. And at number two, Heather Locklear. Heather Locklear was a bombshell in the 80s and 90s, known for her beauty for most of her career. However, she took time out of the spotlight in 2018 after she suffered an OD followed by some time in rehab. She then was arrested after allegedly assaulting an emergency medical technician that was called to her home during a domestic dispute. Now that Heather has recovered, she is back working. She's starring in a new Lifetime movie called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, The Christine Carlson Story, as well as recently getting engaged to longtime partner Chris Heiser. The promo for the movie was recently released, and fans were shocked to see that Locklear looks very different from her usual self. Fans are saying her face looks very puffy, probably due to too much filler. And finally, number one, Angus T. Jones. Since the hit show Two and a Half Men ended six years ago, Angus T. Jones has been out of the spotlight and is on a path to live a normal life not acting. Since he has stayed low key, he is rarely seen out in public. However, he was recently spotted in LA looking completely unrecognizable from Jake Harper on Two and a Half Men. Angus was just 10 years old when he started out on the show and was 21 by the time of the 2015 finale. In August, the 27 year old was spotted in LA with a full beard covering the lower half of his face. He was dressed pretty casually in a t-shirt, shorts, and beanie hat, but most notably he was not wearing any shoes. Not really sure why, but there's that. If you look too fast, most likely you wouldn't even have recognized that it was Angus. In at number 10, Sharon Osbourne. Sharon Osbourne has been very open about her use of cosmetic procedures over the years. She even revealed in a 2013 memoir that she was done with surgery altogether. But that went out the window in 2019 when she revealed that she got another facelift, making it her fourth ever. Sharon is no stranger to cosmetic procedures. In 1999, she lost over 100 pounds after she underwent gastric bypass surgery. She also spent $120,000 on a facelift, tummy tuck, eye lift, abdominoplasty, liposuction, and Botox as well. In 2007, Sherrod admitted that at that time, she had spent roughly $530,000 on cosmetic procedures in total. She's openly said in the past, quote, there's not much I haven't tweaked, stretched, peeled, lasered, veneered, enhanced, or removed altogether. And of course, all her procedures have changed her appearance drastically. And at number 9, Julie Chen. Julie Chen is known as the host of the hit show Big Brother. She revealed to the talk in 2013 that in the start of her career, she decided to have eye surgery that would make her eyes appear larger. Apparently, when she was starting out, she wasn't able to get an agent because they said her Asian eyes did not look good on TV. This pushed her to get an eyelid surgery, which she does not regret. When speaking about the procedure, she said, quote, No one's more proud of being Chinese than I am. Every decision I've made, it got me to where I am today, and I'm not going to look back. And at number eight, Heidi Montag. The reality star went from girl next door to Hollywood Barbie after she got a number of plastic surgery procedures that made her unrecognizable. She even risked her life to have 10 procedures in one single day. Just some of the procedures that she underwent were a brow lift, a nose job, lipo on her stomach and thighs, and a butt augmentation. But after all her surgeries, she revealed that she regrets the decision, and she ended up having health problems because of all the stress to her body. She told Us Weekly in 2013, quote, I just didn't realize what I was really signing up for. It just sounds so minor when you have a surgeon describing so much of it to you, like, okay, great, a little of this, a little of that. You're not told the recovery time and the mental strain it will put on you in the long term. And at number seven, Kylie Jenner. Anyone with eyes can see that Kylie Jenner has had a dramatic change in her appearance over the last few years, and it seems that she has underwent cosmetic procedures in an attempt to look more like her sister Kim. In 2016, after months of denying, she finally revealed that she received lip fillers. She even revealed to Alert that at one point she regretted her full lips. She told her sister Kim, quote, Well, I definitely made my lips a little too big at one point, adding, Thank God I didn't end up on botched. Kylie has not admitted to any other procedures, but it's widely speculated that she's gotten filler in her cheeks and chin, along with a Brazilian butt lift and breast implants. And at number six, Katie Price. 
British model Katie Price has been open about her many plastic surgery procedures that have changed her face considerably over the years. But she recently revealed that she regrets a lot of it, and at one point she felt like a monster. Katie has told media outlets that she received a full body liposuction, liposuction under her chin, and fat injected into her bum. Apparently after one round of procedures, she was told she needed a blood transfusion, but she was too scared of getting COVID to get one. At one point she was regretting it all, asking herself, what the F have I done? Honestly, I've gone to hell and back, it was horrific. Oh my god, I look like a monster out of a horror movie. She also revealed that she lost count of how many boob jobs that she's had over the years, saying it's around 12. Katie says she was all natural until she turned 30. Now she has almost everything done. Halfway at number 5, Nikki Cox. Actress Nikki Cox was one of the hottest stars in TV in the late 1990s and early 2000s, but her career faded after some botched cosmetic procedures. The biggest difference seems to be her large lips and tight face. Some paparazzi photos of her were leaked in 2013, showing her looking much different than the woman that we had seen on screen, and many outlets called her botched and unrecognizable. One plastic surgeon gave his opinion on her look. He speculated that she didn't go under the knife, but claimed her shocking look is due to botched filler. And at number 4, Donatella Versace. Donatella got her fame through running high-end fashion brand Versace with her late brother Gianni. And in the decades since she's been a public figure, her face has changed considerably, most would say for the worse. Over time, she's become unrecognizable with her nose and lips changing the most. It's gotten so bad that Donatella has landed herself on pretty much every worst plastic surgery list that there is. Donatella has only admitted to getting Botox, nothing more, so she hasn't admitted to regretting any of her procedures. When asked about her different look, she said, quote, I'm not like this genetically. I use tons of cream and take care of my hair and skin. And at number three, Ronnie Ortiz Magro. Back in the day, the men of Jersey Shore were known for their chiseled abs and tan skin. But as time has gone on, the men have not been able to keep up with their strict diet and workout regimen, and they've lost the six packs that they were known for. In 2019, Ronnie revealed he underwent liposuction to enhance his six pack after welcoming his daughter Ariana the year before. While he was on the show called The Doctors, he said, quote, A year ago to the day, my life completely changed. I had a little baby girl, she's like my guardian angel, and now I can't spend two or three hours in the gym every day like I used to. The procedure was a laser high definition liposuction of the abdomen, which defined the area around his six pack. And at number two, Dolores Catania. The Real Housewives of New Jersey star went through multiple plastic surgeries since she became a star. She admitted to getting tummy tuck surgery, breast augmentation, facelift, liposuction, and a Brazilian butt lift. She revealed it actually put a strain on her relationship because her boyfriend did not support it at first. On the Getting Real with the Housewives podcast, she said, quote, He was really angry. He was so mad at me, and he didn't let up on it. I let him be mad for a little while, and then I had to say, Listen, you either live with it or we just have to move on. And finally, at number one, Larissa Dos Santos Lima. The 90 Day Fiance star revealed an entirely new look in September of 2020 after she allegedly spent $72,000 on cosmetic enhancements. These procedures included a nose job, liposuction, and breast and butt augmentation. She spoke about the procedures on an episode of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After, where she said, quote, I lose weight, I did butt to make it bigger, I did Botox, I did my nose, I did my lips, I did my cheekbones, I did my chin. I am a new woman and I feel very happy. With all the cosmetic enhancements, she looks unrecognizable from how she looked before the show. Starting off this list, we have number 10, Blake Lively. Blake Lively attempted to be unrecognizable in a casual outfit, but poked fun at the fact that she wore a bright red bag with her name Blake on it. Clearly her disguise was not fooling anyone. In the look, she had her hair up in a bun and was wearing a baseball cap with the word director on it. She captioned the photo, quote, Good thing I had a hat. I didn't think anyone knew it was me. She wore casual clothes for the disguise, wearing a taupe crop top, striped pants, and a pair of chunky red and white sneakers. The director hat might be a nod to her latest endeavor as a director of Taylor Swift's music video for the song I Bet You Think About Me. And at number 9, Teresa Judice. Real Housewives of New Jersey's Teresa Judice just revealed her new nose job for the first time, and she looks completely unrecognizable. She exposed that she got the procedure earlier this month, saying it quote, made me feel better. She revealed the update while she was speaking at the New Jersey Ultimate Women's Expo on Sunday, November 7th. She said, quote, I don't know if anybody knows, but I did get the tip of my nose done, and I was so nervous about getting it. So I guess I got a nose job, just the tip of it. She even praised her fiance, Luis Ruiz, for supporting her decision. Apparently, he approved once he heard it would make her feel better about herself. There are rumors the decision was influenced by her oldest daughter, who revealed that she also got a nose job last summer. And at number 8, Kourtney Kardashian. 
This transformation was not only shocking, it also came with some drama. Kourtney Kardashian did a complete 180 with her look and sported a bleach blonde bob cut for Halloween. She played the character Alabama Worley, who is the female protagonist in the film True Romance. Her look featured the shocking hair, red lip, and 70s retro outfit, along with her newest addition, an engagement ring from Travis Barker. But the drama here is that the film True Romance was a special bond between Travis Barker and his ex-wife Shanna Mochler. They even named their daughter Alabama after the lead character. Mochler commented on the strange choice, saying, quote, What was weird is that they were posing about a movie that Travis and I basically bonded over. I called him Clarence in the movie. We named our daughter after the character Alabama in the movie. I walked down the aisle to You're So Cute from True Romance. And our first dance at our wedding was to the love song from True Romance. So definitely more than a little awkward. And at number 7, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw left his fans speechless because of his Halloween Instagram post. In the post, he is standing with a pumpkin and sporting a thick beard. The beard was so large it basically covered the bottom part of his entire face. His shocking appearance is for a reason. He had to transform for his latest acting role as James Dutton in the Yellowstone spin-off 1883, which also stars his wife, fellow country music star Faith Hill, as Margaret Dutton. Fans flooded the comments saying that they didn't recognize the star and that they had to do a double take. But other fans didn't keep their criticisms to themselves and claimed that they prefer how he looked before. One comment read, quote, I must say I like you beardless better. If you want to see the look in action, you can catch 1883 on December 19th. And at number 6, Jared Leto. Jared Leto is known for his unbelievable transformations, and he has done it yet again with his latest role as Paolo Gucci in Ridley Scott's true crime drama, House of Gucci. In this role, he wears a bald head, facial prosthetics, and flashy clothes as he dons the luxury brand's former design chief. His transformation was so shocking that his co-stars didn't even recognize him on the first day on set. Apparently Al Pacino had no idea who Leto was. Leto said in an interview, quote, The first day I showed up to set in character, I went over to Al Pacino and I said hello to him. And he kind of brushed me off. You could tell he couldn't wait to get away from me. But then someone told him that it was Jared Leto and he was shocked about the transformation. When asked how long the hair and makeup would take every day, Leto said, quote, The physical part was about six hours in the morning and about an hour at night. Six hours, I can't even believe that. Halfway number five, Leah Romini. The latest edition of the National Enquirer has reported that Leah Romini no longer looks like herself and her friends and family are stunned about the shocking transformation. One insider said, quote, Unfortunately, she's almost unrecognizable. Apparently, the transformation is in preparation for her return to TV. One doctor said about her appearance, quote, I suspect she's had Botox with smooth frown lines and wrinkles on her forehead. But another doctor said her work has been much more dramatic and claimed she's had a complete facelift. The doctor said she looks younger now, but less attractive. Leah has been open about her use of Botox in the past, and she hasn't sworn off the idea of getting plastic surgery. So this could be proof that she's had work done. In at number four, Blake Shelton. Gwen Stefani loves sharing old photos on her Instagram. Over the weekend, she shocked fans with two unrecognizable photos of her husband, Blake Shelton. One of the photos was from when Blake was a preteen singing into the mic. Another was when Blake was older, looking intensely at the camera while sporting long curly hair. Blake looks most unrecognizable in the second photo. He basically looks exactly like Heath Ledger in 10 Things I Hate About You. Fans determined that Blake had this shocking look back when Gwen was in her no doubt years. And at number 3, Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson. The child star we knew as Honey Boo Boo is all grown up and looks completely unrecognizable. Ahead of her 16th birthday, she posed for a spread in Teen Vogue, where she showed off how she looks now and spoke about her life. In 2019, her mother, Mama June, was arrested on charge of substance abuse. Alana's two year old sister, Lauren, was then given custody of her. Alana has spoken about people's expectations of her as a southern girl, saying, quote, Just because I'm from the south, people expect me to be all country bumpkin, out riding four wheelers all the time. That's not really how it is. She says that she hopes to live a normal life in the future, and she even wants to become a nurse. She's also hoping to move out of her sister's house when she turns 18. In at number two, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis is shaking things up for her newest role, and she looks unrecognizable while playing her character Molly. In the photos that have been released from the project, Kunis looks disheveled and pretty much out of it. She also has bleached blonde hair with long, grown out roots. The look is so that Kunis can play a woman who is addicted to substances. The film is called Four Good Days, and it shows the four days ahead of her getting a shot, which will prevent her from being able to get high. 
The film also stars Glenn Close who plays Molly's mother, and in the trailer we can see that she is suffering withdrawal symptoms. This film is a huge shake up for Kunis as she generally plays comedic roles in hits like Ted and Friends with Benefits, but it looks like she is ready for an Oscar worthy performance and is excited to play a dramatic gritty role. And finally number 1 Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron just shared some behind the scenes images from her latest project and she looks nothing like we have ever seen before. The photos show her in a huge curly red wig, a stark contrast from her signature blonde. The new look is to play a character Lady Lesso in an upcoming Netflix show School for the Good and Evil. In one of her captions she revealed the character is evil, giving the look a whole other meaning. She wrote quote, Ain't no rest for the evil, can't wait for you all to meet Lady Lesso. The series was adapted from a series of books by Soman Chanani. Deadline reports that Lawrence Fishburne, Michelle Yeoh and Kerry Washington are joining Theron for the series, which is currently filming in Northern Ireland and set to hit Netflix in 2022. At number 10, Amanda Lepore. American model and socialite Amanda Lepore is one person who isn't shy at all about the plastic surgery procedures that she has had and how much she's changed with each surgery. The transgender model, performer and now author who made a name for herself in Hollywood by just being herself altered a lot of her body over the years and she's even claimed to have the most expensive body on earth due to all of her surgeries. She's written and talked about all of the procedures that she's had done and because it is such a long list you can see how her looks have evolved so much over the the years. She's had a nose job, her hairline lowered, her eyebrows lifted, double eyelid surgery, cheekbone, lip and breast augmentation, gender confirmation surgery, hormones and she even had her ribs broken and reshaped to alter the size of her waist. She even got botched ones when she got silicone lip injections because she got too much filler and her lips got way too big for her liking and she looked so different. Because she said that she got them done about 20 times and went a little overboard, she had to get them reduced because because they just got way too big. She's happy with the way that she looks and she likes to evolve her appearance, so I love that for her. I really do. In at number 9, Jessica Simpson. Throughout her career, Jessica Simpson has changed a lot, at some points looking unrecognizable from her former self. Many credited the change in her appearance to simple weight gain, while others speculated she got cosmetic work done. Well, she just exposed the truth on Instagram, revealing that she was suffering with alcoholism that caused a dramatic change in her appearance. In the long caption, she describes how she looked unrecognizable during her battle with alcoholism. In the photo, her face looks incredibly puffy and inflamed. She explained the photo was from 2017 at the height of her addiction. She said in part, quote, This person in the early morning of November 1st is an unrecognizable version of myself. I had so much self discovery to unlock and explore. Jessica also admitted in her 2020 memoir called Open Book that she had two tummy tucks in 2015 to get rid of loose skin from back to back pregnancies. She got an infection after the second procedure and was in the hospital for nine days to recover. At number eight, Farrah Abraham. Teen Mom star Farrah Abraham has been pretty open about her cosmetic procedures and has been under the knife a number of times, but it just takes that one horrible moment to make you rethink all of your plastic surgery choices. You might have seen the infamous photo of Farrah Abraham's botched lip procedure where she looks nothing like herself. But let me tell you how she got in that mess in the first place. In 2015, the reality star opened up in an interview where she spoke out about how she had a negative experience when she went under the knife for an experimental lip implant procedure. Farrah said that when she got the procedure done, she knew right away that something wasn't right when the anesthesia wasn't working for her. She didn't think too much of it at the time, but as it would turn out, she should have said something to the doctor sooner. After the procedure was done and the implant was put in, that's when things went from bad to worse. Turns out Farrah had a really intense reaction to something during the procedure that caused her lip to swell up like crazy, leading to those crazy photos. Luckily, she was able to get things sorted out and her lip went back to normal, but she did say that it was a really scary experience for her and she thought that she would never look like herself again. In at number 7, Christina Aguilera. In 2018, Christina stepped out with an entirely new appearance, which got fans talking. Her face looked very puffy and swollen, possibly from getting too much filler. Surgeons and fans had tons of reactions to her new look. One plastic surgeon said, quote, Christina may have the appearance of fuller cheeks due to increased volume from fillers such as Voluma or Restylane. Another said, I believe that Christina's puffiness can be attributed to overfilled facial fillers like belly fill or Voluma. She probably tried to fill out any wrinkles and give her face some youthful fullness. Her lips are also fuller, most likely from lip fillers. 
In 2015, it was also reported that Christina got a nose job. One surgeon said that he believes her doctor used cartilage to rebuild her nose after her first nose job was botched. At number six, Justin Judlica. Justin Judlica, also known as the real life Ken doll, got famous because he was on the show Botched and became a fan favorite, so obviously I had to include him in this list. Justin became famous because of his exaggerated looks, because he made it his life's mission to become a real life Ken doll. For him, the more plastic he looks, the better. Obviously, Justin wasn't born looking the way he does now, and if you look at old pictures of him, you can really see how drastically different he looks. Justin was on the show Botched very early on in the show's first season, making his debut in the series' first episode. He said that he's received about a thousand surgeries to achieve the look that he has now, and there's no sign of stopping his transformation anytime soon. Justin said that he became obsessed with his appearance after growing up watching the show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and recalling that everyone on that show had plastic surgery. To him, he believed that this lifestyle meant that you were successful, and so he's made it his mission to look like an unrecognized recognizable plastic doll. Halfway at number 5, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson first gained fame through the Jackson 5 as a child, and as he grew up, he started to look unrecognizable from his child self. At some point, his appearance changed so much, it was clear that he was undergoing plastic surgery. Much of it was deemed botched by the general public. It's rumored that he underwent countless nose jobs, as well as skin bleaching. However, Jackson claimed to have vitiligo, and that's why his skin lightened over time. When asked about his nose job, Jackson told Martin Bashir, quote, I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helps me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. I've had two nose jobs as I can remember. However, many plastic surgeons speculate he had far more than two nose jobs and that he developed nasal cripples due to the lack of tissue to breathe through. At number four, Jamie Lee Curtis. You wouldn't really guess it, but at one point, Jamie Lee Curtis got plastic surgery and she ended up looking a little unrecognizable. The actress opened up about a procedure she had received before shooting a movie where she got the fat taken out from underneath her eyes because she said that she was looking a little puffy. Well, it turns out that she got a little botched and her looks weren't too great because when she got to set to start filming the movie, the cameraman actually said that he couldn't shoot her anymore because her face looked so different. Jamie recalled feeling super embarrassed because she had just changed her looks too much. She also said that she was unaware of the fact that when you take fat from one area of your body, it quote, comes back in another place. Jamie took this botched experience as a learning moment and never tried a procedure like that again. And at number 3, Ariel Winter. Ariel gained notoriety as a teen star acting on Modern Family. Since leaving the show, her look has gotten incredibly mature, and many think this isn't solely from genetics. On one Instagram post, fans were calling out Ariel for changing, saying that they liked how she looked before plastic surgery. Ariel was so offended by the comment that she actually responded to it, saying, quote, I appreciate you wanting to help girls love themselves the way they are, but you're also kind of cutting someone, me, down, which isn't what I think you were trying to do. I also didn't get plastic surgery. That's also not being supportive of women if you're just assuming something about the way they look. She's been open about getting a breast reduction in 2015, but many think she is lying and had more procedures. It's also been speculated she receives lip filler along with getting a small nose job. At number two, Barry Manilow. Some celebrities aren't shy about the work they've had done, and others go to great lengths to hide it. One celebrity who has continuously denied their plastic surgery is singer Barry Manilow, because even though there's been a lot of proof to indicate he's had work done, and the fact that he looks unrecognizable after all of those procedures, he still claims to be all natural. In an interview, Barry claimed to have only undergone surgeries and treatments for his health, like getting hip surgery and receiving steroid shots, but judging by the way that he looks nowadays, a lot of people aren't buying that and have pretty much revealed that he's been lying about getting work done for cosmetic purposes. It's been reported that over the years, Barry has undergone several procedures, including having had three facelifts and eyelid surgery. There are even photos of Barry from 2003 showing him leaving the plastic surgeon's office in Beverly Hills. In the photos, he's seen wrapped up in bandages while wearing a disguise of sunglasses and a blonde wig in order to avoid being recognized. But we all know that it's him. He's not fooling anyone. And finally, at number one, Celine Dion. In 2018, following the passing of her longtime husband, sources say that Celine tried to improve her look with cosmetic procedures, but the procedures were botched and she looked nothing like herself. The source said, quote, she totally lost her looks and is unrecognizable. The word is she went under the knife to try and give herself a fresh start, but whatever she's done, it clearly hasn't turned out very well. One plastic surgeon who did not treat Celine, Dr. Dave David, noted the changes are so drastic he wouldn't recognize her if he saw her out. Quote, she looks terrible, haggard, and homely. The doctor believes she had a nose job, fillers in her cheeks, and under the eyes, 
Botox in her upper lip, and had her eyebrows thinned and lightened. And it's not a stretch to assume Celine had some procedures done as she revealed in the past that she is open to receiving facial filler. In at number 10, Janet Jackson. It's very rare that a celebrity in Hollywood is able to keep their relationship or marriage for that matter under the radar. However, Janet Jackson has been able to keep her multiple marriages and subsequent divorces all a secret from the tabloids. First, she was married to singer-songwriter Renee Elizondo in 1991, and that union remained under wraps until she filed for divorce in 2000. She then managed to keep her next marriage to billionaire Wissam Almana in 2012 a secret as well. This marriage actually really ended up changing Janet. She moved to London and abandoned her look to offer a more conservative garb in the line with Almana's Muslim religion. The couple wed two years after they met, and much to everyone's surprise, the then 50-year-old Janet announced that she was pregnant with son Issa, who was born in January of this year. To even greater surprise, Janet then announced her separation from Almana four months later. In at number 9, Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin is typically all about the laugh, so it's really hard to believe her when she's talking about her late brother, a convicted pa- the public first learned about her older brother Kenny in her best-selling autobiography My Life on the D-List, and in the book Kathy spoke about growing up with her brother and how she felt a very violent energy whenever he was around. She even admitted to witnessing him beating up his own wife. What's just as disturbing was when Kathy explained how he was sexually inappropriate with her from the time that she was just a little girl. Ultimately, this shaped the way that she perceived the world and herself as she grew up. Kenny Griffin ended up going to prison and eventually passed away. In and number 8, Rose McGowan. Ever since the beginning of the Time's Up and Me Too movement, actress Rose McGowan has been an outspoken force for change. As a result, she's been very open about her own personal secrets involving mental illness and sexual abuse. Growing up, her life was plagued with pain because her parents belonged to a cult called the Children of God. According to Rose, the members believed in free love and so she was raised in a commune where mistreating women was just normalized. She even cited that men in the cult would regularly mistreat women and force them to act as servants. In at number 7, Holly Madison. Having frequently visited the Playboy Mansion when she was a 20 year old college student in Los Angeles, the aspiring actress decided to move into the house a year later in 2001. The Oregon native who was familiar with Playboy and had been a fan soon became Hugh Hefner's lead girlfriend and the two appeared to fall madly in love. Over the course of their seven years together, their untraditional relationship was followed on the E! Channel series called The Girls Next Door. Holly acted as the loyal wife figure alongside co-stars and fellow girlfriends Kendra and Bridget. However, in a bizarre series of events, Holly left the mansion claiming that Hugh had refused to marry her. That being said, this is exactly how Hef wanted things to appear to the general public. In her memoir titled Down the Rabbit Hole, she spoke openly about their relationship and revealed some deep rooted secrets that Hugh never wanted us to know. Apparently he knew that she was unhappy and just ignored her. Upon reflecting on it she said that even though she gave 7 years of her life the man could barely have a conversation with her. In at number 6, Melissa Joan Hart. Melissa Joan Hart may be a happily married mother of three, but during her time as Sabrina the Teenage Witch, she partied like every other Hollywood star. In the 1990s, she appeared to be this squeaky clean actor, but that was just an image put forth by executives. In her tell-all book called Melissa Explains It All, she speaks very openly about all the secret stories that she had to keep under wraps while acting in Hollywood. In one portion of the book, she says that she experimented with weed, ecstasy, mushrooms, and mescaline for about a year and a half. Looks like her broomstick wasn't the only thing that was getting her high. Am I right? Up top. No? Okay. On top of that, she spilled crazy details about making out with a woman in a limo and then heading to a Maxim photo shoot while still high. Then revealing that it was her third or fourth time on ecstasy for this photo shoot. Although all this bad behavior, she says, is attributed to the bad crowd that she was hanging around with. I think she claimed also that Paris Hilton once offered her cocaine at a party, but obviously she denied. In at number 5, Lance Armstrong. In 2012, champion cyclist Lance Armstrong denied that he ever relied on performance enhancing drugs. He referred to the doping allegations against him as outlandish and heinous. However, when the US Anti-Doping Agency revealed compelling evidence, the cyclist House of Lies began to crumble. The agency released about a thousand pages of evidence in doping allegations against Armstrong and his teammates. This led to him being stripped of seven Tour de France titles and bronze Olympic medal, plus his secret forced him to step down as chairman of the Livestrong Foundation. Armstrong would later give a detailed account of his doping to Oprah Winfrey in 2013. You know, I view this situation as um, one big lie that I repeated a lot of times. In at number four, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The secret that Arnold kept ended up being the bombshell that destroyed his marriage. Just five days after Arnold's then wife Maria Shriver gave birth to their fourth son in 1997, the couple's housekeeper, Mildred Patricia Baina, also gave birth to a son by the same action star. He kept this child of his a secret until he completed two terms as California's governor in 2011. Then he finally confessed his infidelity to Shriver and later the public. All it took was the media identifying the 
mystery baby mama and thus the celebrity scandal had been completed. There have always been celebrities that kept their kids out of the public eye, but nothing in terms of what Arnold was able to pull off by keeping this all a secret for so long. Imagine seeing that kid and be like, this kid looks like Arnold's son. Is that Arnold's son? In at number three, Charlie Sheen. No one has really been attacked in the press like Charlie Sheen has. Not saying he hasn't earned some of his controversies, but let's just say that there are some very shady people in this world. The notorious actor appeared on NBC's Today Show in 2015 to announce that he was HIV positive. Charlie had been diagnosed with HIV four years prior and finally revealed his secret after several people actually tried to blackmail him. Allegedly, there were some people threatening to reveal this secret unless he gave them $10 million. I'm here to, to admit that I am in fact uh, HIV positive positive um, and I, um, I, I, I I have to put a, a, a stop to this, this, this onslaught. If the timeline is four years from this interview, then his diagnosis would have come right as this whole controversy with the show Two and a Half Men started. You know, the one where he said in a bunch of interviews that he had tiger blood and Adonis DNA. Like, it's no wonder with that much press on him already that he didn't want to also reveal what could even be perceived as a weakness to his health. In at number two, Drake. This one was a huge reveal because for so long people were just simply speculating on whether or not Drake was dating someone. So when Pusha T released a track with a line directed at Drake that said, you are hiding a child, let that boy come home, Adonis is your son. Everyone that was watching that feud had this jaw dropping moment when Drake finally revealed his secret son named Adonis. How did Pusha T know this? Drake would later record a song called Emotionless that explained why he had kept his son hidden from the public. He just didn't want to expose his son to the world that would have had their eyes on his every move. And it's understandable, but I believe it baffled people because it wasn't like he was like happily married to someone. He, he appeared to just be this rolling stone that was always rumored to be romantically involved with one celebrity or another. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Like many celebrities on this list, JT and JB have had an awful time trying to keep their personal lives out of the public eye. One thing that has certainly helped keep a lot of secrets is well, this pandemic. I mean, if the paparazzi can't come within six feet of you and everyone's on lockdown in their homes, the tabloids must be just suffering right now. Although the Daily Mail still found a way to honor some celebrity secrets when they revealed that Jessica had secretly given birth to a baby boy. The family are thought to be in Big Sky, Montana, where they have been spending time amid the coronavirus pandemic, and both of them have neglected to share any details whatsoever about the pregnancy, so I guess we'll have to check the Daily Mail if you want info on that celebrity secret. Number 10, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner has carved her own spot amongst her family history, being named one of the youngest billionaires ever by Forbes magazine and her own line of successful beauty products. Both of those turned out to be lies, but I've already talked about that in another video. Jenner is always seen in public dolled up and dressed to the nines. With her celebrity status, more than likely comes a team of cosmetic artists and hairstylists standing by to make her look fabulous. While it would appear that despite rumors of her being one of the worst bosses of all time, famously not paying her cosmetics or garment workers on time and keeping them in horrible work conditions, she actually does give her beauty squad a day off. Jenner has been spotted not wearing makeup in public several times and is unrecognizable. Not even in a bad way though. She has a natural cute smile and big beautiful cheeks to go with it. Side by side comparisons show the night and day appearance. Unfortunately, much like anyone who has experienced the pains of wearing a lot of makeup for a long time, Jenner suffers from severe acne on her forehead and cheeks. Well, maybe one day they'll make a foundation that doesn't feel like you're putting paint on your face. Number nine, Katy Perry. California girls. They're undeniable. And so is the fact that Katy Perry looks hella different without her makeup. The pop singer known for hits like Hot and Cold and California Girls is known for her style and colorful onstage persona. Katy is regularly seen sprouting a bright colorful hairdo and wearing outlandishly extravagant costumes during her shows. It's jarring to see her before the show, however. Without all those bright colors and clothes, Katy Perry kind of reminds me of my kindergarten teacher. Bonjour Madame Soleil. That's right, I'm French. Deal with it. Her offstage persona seems to be a complete 180 of herself on stage. She's the kind of girl who wants to snuggle up on a couch, order in, and watch the newest original trash heap presented by Netflix. Photos of Perry with and without makeup also seem to showcase the emotional change that takes place during a show. As when Perry is home, she presents a more domestic and wholesome lifestyle, whereas when she's all zhuzhed up and ready to rock, she's got this smirk like she knows she's the queen and she's on her way to slay. Number 8. Adele Hello, it's me, 
I was wondering if you've ever seen this side of Adele. Adele is famous for her incomparable voice, known to have incredible range and on stage presence. When many fans think of Adele, they think of her music or her stunning looks. For me, I think of the time she hosted Saturday Night Live and the entire cast did a sketch where everyone dressed like her and sang hello in a pile of leaves, but that's that's just my brain. After this video though, you may think of this image. When Adele is off stage and enjoying her time away from the lights and hairspray, she looks like she hasn't stopped crying in weeks. Her eyes often appear red and swollen when not wearing makeup. Now, this could be attributed to her being a mother and just, you know, existing, but in this photo specifically, she looks so done with everything. Like, just give her an endless five minute break, please. Number seven, Lady Gaga. Rama, ma, 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 Gaga, ooh la la. Hmm. Lady Gaga has been a staple in the pop music world since the early 2000s, with her song Just Dance gradually climbing its way to the number one spot on the Billboard's Hot 100 list. It stayed at number one on that list for a total of 49 weeks, and in 2023, it was certified 11 times platinum. She would continue to go on and write some of the greatest pop songs of all time, like Poker Face, Paparazzi, Bad Romance, and so many more. Over the years, Gaga has been a very easy person to spot in public due to her lavish lifestyle and her stunning looks. She's usually got her makeup done up, almost always in some colorful or unique way that just screams Gaga. It's strange to see her without the makeup, however, seemingly due to her eyebrows vanishing when she does. It kind of works for her, however. Lady Gaga is a larger than life superstar, but without the makeup, she looks more like the lead guitarist from a pretty solid punk band. At the Oscars this year, Gaga made an appearance and was noticeably bogged down in terms of style. She looked very comfortable on stage, wearing a plain black t-shirt and jeans, and it would appear that, hey, she found her eyebrows. Nice job. Number six, Cardi B. Cardi B is an American rapper best known for her clever punchlines, aggressive flow, and she's got one heck of a shoe throwing arm. Many times over the years, Cardi has appeared in many concerts and interviews, always looking her best, despite sometimes being at her worst. At a fashion show week event in New York City, for instance, a few years ago, Cardi got into a fight with Nicki Minaj that ended up getting physical, but despite that, she looked incredible in her dress and her makeup was on point. It's hard to imagine Cardi Cardi without makeup, but thanks to her Instagram, that's easy peasy now. Recently, Cardi posted a series of images of herself with hashtag no makeup. While this was meant to be a move of empowerment, fans have already started chiming into the pics, saying Cardi looks like a mom that cannot get her kid to chill. Her eyes also appear smaller without so much makeup on, only adding to the cat-like features seen in this photo, causing many of us to ask the question, is that Catwoman? Halfway number five, fake names. The vast majority of Hollywood A-listers do not use their real names, instead they concocted a stage name. This is done for a variety of reasons, sometimes just because their old name isn't as flashy, but other times the reasons are pretty dark. For some examples of celebrities with fake names, Martin Sheen's real name is Raymond Antonio Gerard Estevez, Jamie Foxx's name is Eric Marlon Bishop, and Marilyn Monroe's real name was Norma Jean Mortensen. Then other times a name change can be used to hide nepotism. Like for instance, Nicolas Cage's real name is Nicolas Coppola, and he's the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola, a famous Hollywood director. This familial connection landed Nick Cage his first role in the movie, Peggy Sue Got Married. Other times, a name change can be to hide racism. Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. actor Chloe Bennett, real name Chloe Wang, said, quote, Hollywood is racist and wouldn't cast me with a last name that made them uncomfortable. In at number four, stuntmen regularly lose their lives. Stuntmen are a very common thing on movie sets, because A-list actors aren't able to do the stunts that we see in a lot of action movies. But fans might not know what a dangerous job that it is and stuntmen regularly get critically injured or even lose their lives. And for how vital their role is to these movies, they are not paid fairly. The average stunt person pulls in about 250 k a year, which sounds great, but is nothing compared to the about $20 million that the movie stars are making. Big name stars are obviously the ones that sell the tickets, but they're not the ones who put their lives on the line. During the filming of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, Daniel Radcliffe's stunt double David Holmes got hit by a staged explosion, and he was so seriously injured by the fragments that he suffered a neck break that left him fully paralyzed. Then on the set of Deadpool 2, a stuntman lost their life during a car crash scene. In at number 3, Substance Misuse. 
Following the release of the biopic Judy, we got to see the horrible practices the movie execs would use to get their talent to do what they wanted, specifically using illicit substances to wake the actors up and keep them on set working for very long hours. According to a 1982 New York Times article, use of these substances became so common that movie insurers would put clauses in their contracts to cut losses from these sorts of incidents, because several deaths and injuries on set stem from the use of these substances. In her 2013 memoir, Debbie Reynolds, the female lead for the 1952 musical Singing in the Rain, recalled that when her grueling schedule started to take a toll on her health, a studio executive told her to quote, take vitamin shots from his doctor. Then Judy Garland revealed her mother would give her quote, pep pills to ensure she had enough energy to film all day. Because of the toll these substances took on her health, Judy unfortunately passed away at the age of 47 because of an OD from these substances. In at number 2, inappropriate behavior runs rampant. So I'm gonna have to dance around the subject a bit for this one, but the things that have been exposed during the Me Too and Time's Up era are not new and have been happening for decades. Harvey Weinstein wasn't the first and only power player in Hollywood to use his power to get women to do what he wanted. And this all goes back to the idea of the quote, casting couch, where you are expected to do sexual favors to these executives in exchange for a role. And there are many examples of this behavior taking place in Hollywood. Even worse, this behavior can also happen against one study even found that 94% of women employed in the American film industry have experienced sexual harassment or worse. This is a staggering number that should make everyone push for change. And finally, number one, discrimination problem. The problem of diversity in Hollywood is something that's being brought up more and more over the years. And when we look at some of the stats, it's pretty wild. Only one woman has ever won the Oscar for Best Director, and that was Catherine Bigelow for the 2008 movie The Hurt Locker. Also, only one African American has ever won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay in the history of the Academy. That was Jordan Peele in 2018 for Get Out. But the problem is not only in the cast and crew of the movies, it's the higher up of the business in general. A 2016 Washington Post investigation reported that 96% of Hollywood's decision makers were white and 87% of them were male. Clearly a large gap between those demographics and what we see in society today. A study of 100 movies released in 2016 also showed that about 70% of speaking roles in that year's top 100 films were white, leaving 30% to account for black, Asian, and Hispanic people. Another shocking stat was that just 31% of speaking characters were female. Number 10. Zac Efron. Zachary David Alexander Efron rose to Disney fame when he starred as Troy Bolton in the classic High School Musical. He played the basketball player turned theater kid, and for some reason, that was a big deal to everybody. I mean, I don't get it, I was a theater kid and I've literally had two basketball players pretend to be a seesaw and hoist me into the air. Bless their hearts, I was and still am too heavy for that kind of shenanigans. He went on to have an extremely successful career. While his films haven't always been the most lucrative, Zac himself has has been a consistently solid performer, from films like Charlie St. Cloud to his most recent flick, Gold. One thing that hasn't been consistent, however, is his face. In 2013, Zach was running through his house when he slipped in his socks and hit his chin on a granite fountain. Hey man, we've all been there. According to Zach, his chin bone was hanging off of his face. He had to have his mouth wired shut and had been undergoing physical therapy up until 2019. Many fans noticed Zach's face getting just a bit puffy recently. Recently. Not really in a bad way though, just in like a way that has made him unrecognizable to high school musical maniacs. He addressed rumors of him undergoing surgery and explained that it was the result of breaking one of the original rules of parenthood. Don't run around the house! Number 9. Miley Cyrus In 2006, the world was introduced to the popular Disney sitcom Hannah Montana. It starred Miley Cyrus as the titular character, living a double life between being Hannah the pop sensation and Miley Stewart, the new girl from Tennessee that just wants a normal life as a teenager. Miley played herself on the show for four seasons before making a Hannah Montana movie and leaving Disney entirely. She appeared in a handful of movies before leaving the acting world behind to focus on her solo music career. In 2016, Miley revealed her new look to the world. She was sprouting short blonde hair, tattoos, and she was in her birthday suit on a wrecking ball. Quite the fashion move. After a few years, she slowly began to shift back to her more natural look and was recently in an interview you looking youthful and full of energy again. Miley has been a successful musician since leaving her Hannah Montana days in the dust and seems to be slowly getting back into the acting world now following her voiceover role on the popular Netflix series Black Mirror, one of the best shows Netflix has ever produced. Number 8. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay is a Disney star who never actually appeared in a sitcom or TV series. She got her start acting at just the age of 3, starring in over 60 TV spots and commercials for brands like Gap, 
Cup, Pizza Hut, and Jell-O. She got her big break when Disney casted her to play two roles in the classic family comedy The Parent Trap. She played twin sisters Hallie Parker and Annie James, who randomly meet at a summer camp and discover that their parents split them up when they were babies following a divorce. The twins then hatch a plot to get mom and dad back together and it is delightful. Her career only seemed to rise from there, starring in several cult classics like Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee Curtis and Mean Girls as the main character Katie Heron. Unfortunately, her career took a step in the wrong direction when she was arrested in 2007 for driving under the influence of a controlled substance, for which she served 84 minutes in jail. Yep, minutes. Some people spend years in jail, but Lindsay was like, eh, we'll give her a warning. Until 2022, her career was at an abrupt standstill, and Lindsay decided to take that time to make some cosmetic adjustments. She got some work done to herself, and the Lindsay that we grew up with is now trapped behind a thin layer of silicone. Number 7. Moises Arias Another former Hannah Montana star, Moises is probably best known as the youngest entrepreneur and biggest troublemaker on the beach, Rico. His character on the show was always getting sucked into the family's problems. He delivered some iconic moments that are most of the reason that the show still holds up to this day. There's a good chance you've seen Arias in recent Hollywood flicks, but you probably didn't realize who he was. Since leaving the Disney world behind, he has been a part of several indie films that received stellar reviews like the coming of age story Kings of Summer when he played Biagio, but most recently he starred alongside SNL alumni Pete Davidson in a film based on the comedian's early life called King of Staten Island, sprouting a goatee and tattoos everywhere. It must be in his contract that he exclusively works in films with King in the title or something. Number 6. Shia LaBeouf Shia has been a controversial celebrity for a long time, becoming famous as one of the hardest people to work with in Hollywood history. Like many bad apples in LA, Shia got his start on the Disney Channel. At the turn of the century, Disney released a little show called The Even Stevens. The series followed the titular Stevens family with a focus on the kids, Ren and Lewis, played by Christy Romano and Shia LaBeouf. The show is considered one of Disney's best, spanning three seasons and spawning an Even Stevens movie that is one of the greatest pieces of cinema ever released. These days, Shia has adopted a more mountain man look, always sprouting like a big bushy beard when he can, and he's gone from bright and youthful to tired and annoyed. Hey man, we feel that. Following the show's end, Shia kept his acting career going strong, appearing in the much loved classic Holes as the main character Stanley Yelnats, but it wasn't until his casting in the live action Transformers series that he began to descend into madness. Since 2007, Shia's behavior as both an actor and a person has been getting worse and worse. His fellow actors have reported that Shia takes method acting just a bit too far. In the film Fury, he played a soldier trapped inside a military tank with his crew. The film was set in Germany in April 1945, and of course they didn't have access to plumbing or any kind of bathrooms at that time, so Shia decided to not bathe for the entire time he was on set. For almost three months, his fellow cast had to sit in a cramped tank smelling nothing but Shia. <laughs> Number 5. Stephen Anthony Lawrence Now this guy holds a special place in my heart, and his character Beans from the show Even Stevens, previously mentioned on this list, lives rent free in my skull 24-7. I mean like this man is my spirit animal. For those unfamiliar, and hey, I'm sorry if you are, Bean was the weird neighbor kid next door. He would regularly drop in on the Stevens family to cause general mischief and shenanigans, and would often be swooped up into whatever wacky situations the Stevens would get into. Following the end of the show, Steven appeared in several classic comedies like Cheaper by the Dozen, Kicking and Screaming, Cat in the Hat, oh sorry that last one's a horror movie. His career seemed to be on the rise, but with puberty comes a change in priorities. Steven opted to step back from the acting world and focus on developing his mental and physical health, but apparently the acting tick was never actually removed from his skin, as nowadays he teaches the youth of tomorrow through virtual acting lessons. He still has that unforgettable face, but age has certainly shifted him him from Beans the Boy to Beans the Man. Number 4. Ally Grant The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody was my favorite Disney show growing up. It followed the life of twin brothers living in a massive hotel with their mom, surrounded by iconic characters like Mr. Mosby, the hotel manager, Irwin, the maintenance man, and of course, Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa la Mires. Along with the slew of memorable adult characters, Zack and Cody also had a solid crew of fellow delinquents, including one Miss Ally Grant. 
plant as Agnes. Agnes was the nerdy girl in school who was under the impression that Cody's got a little crush on her. And while she only appeared in a handful of episodes, she certainly made a long lasting impression on fans. If you Google Allie now, she defines the word glow up. She looks stunning. Nowadays, Allie is still acting, appearing in smaller roles over the years, but she is currently working on her own TV series set in her hometown of Mississippi. So keep an eye out for that one. Number three, Doug Brochu. Now, Doug was a cast member of the Disney series Sunny with a Chance about a fictional sketch show and its cast behind the scenes. It was the first Disney show featuring heavyweight alumni Demi Lovato as the titular Sunny. Following the show's cancellation, Disney attempted to recreate an actual sketch show with the main cast, minus Demi, because apparently she got too famous working on Camp Rock, a movie that has just not aged well. While both Sunny and the sketch show didn't work out, Doug took the situation in stride. He may have starred in a few episodes of other Disney shows in between A and B, but nothing really stuck. And for the most part, he has remained out of the acting world. Doug is another example of a glow up gone great, as he appears to have taken very good care of himself, looking healthy and happy in recent photos. Currently, Doug actually works behind the scenes as a live broadcast producer at Esports Engine, moving from acting in sketches to covering video game tournaments. That guy's living the dream. Number two, Aaron Musicant. While Aaron may not be considered a Disney star, he certainly made a mark in sitcom history when and he played Hotel's hot lifeguard, Gil, on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. His character spent the majority of his time on the show flirting with Ashley Tisdale's character, Maddie, at her candy stand in the Tipton's lobby. He was always talking about the water, but somehow Maddie was charmed and entranced by Gil. <sighs> well, if you've seen a picture of Aaron now, he looks more like a Gil than he ever did on the show. He's regularly seen with long, luscious locks and a bit of a facial scruff, but between his face and his fashion, he looks like he lives on the beach, but not in a house, more like in a shack of logs and seaweed that he like scraped together from the ocean. His acting career hasn't gone very far, but he has turned into a very successful carpenter and building designer. Oh, here's hoping that hair never gets caught in a buzzsaw. And number one, Orlando Brown. That's So Raven is another series considered to be a part of the Golden Gears, aka the early 2000s of Disney. It starred Raven Simone as the titular character, who has the ability to briefly see the future via unprompted visions. I swear, every time I explain a plot to an old Disney show, I just question like, who was on what when they pitched this? The show had a stellar supporting cast, including Raven's best friends, Chelsea and Eddie, who were played by Annalise Vanderpool and Orlando Brown. Orlando's time as Eddie was received well with audiences, as he quickly became a fan favorite, not only for his comedic abilities, but his dramatic abilities as well. After Raven wrapped up its final season, Orlando's career took a bit of a turn. Surprisingly, he was being casted as as small side characters or secondary characters with minimal screen time in film and TV. In 2022, he appeared on Dr. Phil's talk show and he opened up about his struggles mentally and financially, but he also shocked audiences with his new look. He's drenched in tattoos and sporting a pair of demon eye contacts. Unfortunately, it seems that Orlando has fallen victim to the darker side of Disney stars as he was arrested for a misdemeanor after an altercation with his brother early last year. Number 10, Mia Yokovic. The action star best known for her role as Alice in the much debated Resident Evil series is arguably one of the most gorgeous zombie slayers of all time. First stunning audiences with her beauty in the film The Fifth Element as Lilu, who it turns out, spoiler alert, is the fifth element. Mind blown. The image of a bright orange haired alien beauty has been burned into the memory of anyone who has seen that movie, which is why it's quite jarring to see her on the street nowadays. A photo was recently captured by paparazzi showing Mia with a punk rock buzz cut and cut jean shorts. Now while this may just be a temporary hairstyle, this is far from the Mia that we're used to seeing on screen. I mean, look at that. It looks like she saw someone mowing their lawn and was like, hey, could you take a little off the top, please? We hope that as time goes on, Mia will regress back into her Lilu days. Lilu, Lilu. <laughs> Number nine, Zac Efron. The former Disney Channel star has been considered a Hollywood hottie for most of his career, starring in many films like Neighbors, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, and even trying his hand at more serious roles with movies like Charlie St. Cloud and Gold. While Zack was aging gracefully for the most part, many fans started speculating that he may have received some kind of facial reconstructive surgery following an appearance on Bill Nye's Earth Day musical on Facebook, where fans claimed that he looked like he had just been stung by a bee or something. Well, after a year of speculation, it turned out that 
that there was some truth to that theory. You see, he hadn't undergone surgery. In fact, the actor's facial differences were due to a jaw injury he had sustained in 2013. Zach broke his jaw and had to have his mouth wired shut after he was running through his house with socks on, slipped, and went face first into a granite fountain. Hey man, we've all been there. Apparently, he had been undergoing physical therapy for the incident for quite some time, but had recently stopped going, which caused his face to kind of puff up. This doesn't help the situation, however, as Efron was recently spotted on set for a new biographical film called The Iron Claw, in which he plays the titular wrestler. For this role, Efron bulked up significantly, now making the rest of him look like he was stung by a hornet, and is sporting a haircut reminiscent of Friar Tuck in Robin Hood. Hopefully the movie will be so good that it's worth that bowl cut. Number 8. Madonna Madonna has surely gotten stuck in your head before, with classic radio hits like Material Girls and Crazy For You still being played at dance clubs worldwide. Now what may have also gotten stuck in your head was just how gorgeous this woman once was. In the 80s, Madonna was well known for her stylish duds and big blonde hair, at times almost channeling Marilyn Monroe's energy. It was unfortunate then that Madonna felt the need to fall into the world of plastic surgery and injections as she got older. Photo comparisons from the 80s to now showcase these major changes, with her forehead appearing to be pushed out as well as her cheeks and her lips, being filled with enough Botox to give her the appearance of someone wearing a silicone mask of Madonna over their own face. We can only imagine what she may have looked like if she had not gone the surgery, but would she still be a material girl or would that material be moth ridden and covered in coffee stains? Eh, who knows? Number 7. Macaulay Culkin Culkin broke our hearts when he made his first on screen appearance as Little Thomas in the movie My Girl, and he continued to entertain us over the next few years, being a part of blockbuster hits like the Home Alone franchise and Richie Rich. His career seemed to be on an upward climb, ensuring that he would have work well into his adult years. But it turns out that life had other plans for Macaulay. Between the years of 2003 to 2019, Culkin had remained fairly reserved in the Hollywood eye, only appearing in a few low budget passion projects or straight to video films. It may have been because the once young and fresh Culkin was now in his early 20s and he was not playing by the rules. A mugshot of Culkin made headlines in 2004 when he was arrested for possessions of a controlled substance, without a prescription, following a routine inspection of his vehicle. Rumors of Culkin's substance issues arose as the actor was later seen appearing frail and as if he hadn't eaten in weeks. Many people were concerned for Culkin's health, but he later revealed in an interview in 2021 that he'd finally gotten a hold of his issues and he was on track to recovery and looking much better. Right on, Lil Mac. Number 6. Mickey Rourke The big man Mickey Rourke has been a prolific actor for quite some time, making his major motion debut in the 1986 romantic drama Nine and a Half Weeks Later as John Gray, a Wall Street trader who falls for an art gallery assistant and escalates that situation very quickly. Back in the day, he was cast as the handsome leading man or heartthrob for the most part, but since receiving massive amounts of plastic surgery and lip fillers in the early 2000s, he looks more like a clay model of his former self. Admit in 2017 that his ever-changing face was due to botched surgeries conducted to mend his boxing scars. I don't know much about boxing and I no longer intend to. He's since appeared in such blockbuster hits like Iron Man 2 as the villain Whiplash and Sin City as a scarred up trench coat wearing bad boy named Marv. So it's far from the soft faced Mickey that your parents once probably had a poster of on their wall. I didn't. What? Stop talking. Next, number 5. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer made his name a staple when he starred in the beloved classic fantasy film Willow as Matt Mardigan, a swordsman who spends the movie protecting the titular baby from evil forces. Personally, he made a staple in my head as being the Batman that beat up Jim Carrey, but we won't get into that. Over the years, Kilmer has aged gracefully, being the leading man type over and over again, seemingly casted because of his looks over his acting chops, which many consider to be stiff. Well, much like Mickey Rourke, Kilmer's roles began to shift from leading strong type to the dark and silent bad guy. I mean, just look at this headshot. He looks like an evil scientist trying to invite you into his mansion to show you his collection of animal skulls. Honestly, I think I'd watch that movie. Number 4. Cher Ever since rising to fame in the 1960s, Cher has been absolutely slaying it in the world of pop music, rocking her own solo career and collaborating with several musicians over the years. Her style and voice will definitely not be a stranger to you, unless of course you've seen her lately. Now, don't get me wrong, she's absolutely stunning and has put in a lot of work to stay healthy and happy in her personal life, but over the years, Cher has been open about having numerous amounts of surgeries done, including lip fillers, receiving Botox in her cheeks, leaving her in a constant state of... Uh, Really? Despite having negative experiences with her surgeries, reportedly even receiving a certain augmentation that went horribly wrong, she still continues to undergo the knife to this day. For all we know, she might be under right now. Whoa. 
Number three, Celine Dion. Celine Dion is just one of many Canadian treasures that have been unleashed on this world. Growing up in Charlemagne, Quebec, Dion began performing at a very young age and quickly garnered international fame for her incredible voice and her larger than life performance style. With legendary hits like My Heart Will Go On from the film Titanic and the song Beauty and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, Celine is sure to have been rattling around in your head at least a few times over the years. Unfortunately, the once youthful and larger than life performer has not aged well over the years. While she has never received plastic surgery of any kind, you go girl, the latest photos show Celine appearing to be void of any body fat whatsoever, causing her to appear almost skeletal sometimes. We hope that this is simply a case of age ruling its ugly head and not something more serious. Good luck Celine. Number two, David Crumholtz. David's face may be familiar to many of you as Bernard the Elf from the Santa Claus franchise. David has been acting for quite some time though, making appearances over the years in shows like Freaks and Geeks and Mom. He's also familiar to many for his more raunchy performances, working in films like Harold and Kumar as well as several collaborations with Seth Rogen. In his youth, Crumholtz was often typecast as the young, squishy-faced good guy with a little bit of a bad boy streak. Unfortunately, as time went on, the actor appeared to be struggling with his weight, appearing to gain and lose it very rapidly. For example, in the HBO series The Deuce, David plays a character named Harvey Wasserman, who in season one weighed just over 300 pounds. But when he appeared in season two's premiere, he weighed just barely 100 pounds. Now this constant back and forth shift cannot be healthy for anybody. As seen in recent photos, it looks like this back and forth is seriously starting to take a toll on the deuce. Number one, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe is the gladiator Maximus to many people, a role that he portrayed in the 2000 film Gladiator. It was a commanding and brutal performance from Crow, astonishing crowds worldwide and creating a massive buzz for what this man might do next. In Gladiator, Crow was tough and built like a brick house. As time went on, those bricks seemed to be turning into rubble, because Crow began appearing more and more with what we can only describe as the daddest of bods, growing a big lumberjack beard and gut to go with it. This change was emphasized in Thor Love and Thunder, released in 2022, when Crow played the god Zeus, and instead of appearing as he does in lore as a massive muscular lightning god, he just looks like someone's dad dressed up for a frat party that he was not invited to. Number 10, Zac Efron. The high school musical star really shocked fans with how different he looked in 2021 when a video surfaced online of his face looking extremely altered. When Zac appeared on camera for a virtual Earth Day event, everyone was totally distracted by his new appearance. Not only did he no longer have his iconic baby face look, but some people suggested that he had an altered jawline and enhanced lips, and suspected that he'd had, at the very least, some Botox done. It's true that he looked a little bit puffy or possibly swollen, but of course, camera angles, makeup, and poor lighting also could have contributed to the drastically different appearance. When the video started making the rounds on social media, popular TikTok surgeon Dr. Yun suggested that Zach might have gotten oral surgery, which would explain his swollen jaw, which would happen if your wisdom teeth were taken out, or you had some kind of other intensive dental surgery. But fans were not happy about the doctor's comments and accused him of trying to capitalize on Zach's popularity to gain attention. Although he does look different now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. The actor went on both The Ellen Show and Jimmy Kimmel Live recently and just looked a whole lot more mature. In fact, he seemed to have really grown into his features in the best way possible. Number 9, Khloe Kardashian. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star is known for being the funniest and most laid back of all the sisters. But over the years, fans have seen such a drastic change in her appearance that it can only be put down to excessive plastic surgery. And while the reality star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to go under the knife. Quote, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant, but I've only had one nose job and everyone gets so upset. Like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. She also revealed that she has done injections, but not really Botox because when she tried it, her face responded horribly. But all the surgery was probably because of something deeper. In fact, later in the episode, Chloe explained how she experienced body image insecurity when doing photo shoots with her sisters, saying, They would receive racks and racks of clothes, and I was told by so many different stylists, I was given about two or three pieces of clothing, but not to worry because I would be in the background anyway. Which is pretty unfortunate because being treated like that would upset just about anybody. Number 8, Rebel Wilson. The Australian actress has been in comedy since the early 2000s, but her 
her career really took off a decade later in movies like What to Expect When You're Expecting, Struck by Lightning, and of course, Pitch Perfect. She's always been a huge health and body positive advocate and has frequently opened up about her health journey. But the reason Rebel Wilson looks so drastically different in 2022 is that she has actually been working on her health and fitness since late 2019, and she has seen massive results. In a candid interview with the BBC, she talked about the differences in how she's being treated now. Quote, sometimes being bigger, people don't necessarily look twice at you. Now that I'm in good shape, people offer to carry my groceries to the car and hold doors open for you. And you think, is this what other people experience all the time? So even though Rebel seems to be a lot happier now, she's also pointed out something that's really worth discussing. Her health journey has been a very public one, so it's great that the actress has decided not to hold back when talking about all the challenges that she's faced throughout. And she's certainly become an inspiration for others to make positive changes to their health. Number 7. Miley Cyrus The 29 year old singer and actress has lived so many lives already. She's been a Disney star, a country singer, then she moved to R&B for a while and back into pop. Miley has always been an eccentric performer. I mean who can forget twerking against Robin Thicke at the MTV VMAs in 2013. But her whole style and aesthetic did a complete 180 somewhere around 2020 when she started embracing all things rock and roll. These days she looks completely unrecognizable with a platinum blonde mullet metallic blue smoky eyeshadow, and a blue and white striped dress. She actually looks like an 80s rock star. The aesthetic change appears to be part of her newest musical era for her newest rock album, Plastic Hearts. It's still up for debate whether Miley is going for a more grunge or glam rock, but it's clear that she's chosen a whole nother genre for herself when it comes to not only style but music. After hearing her cover of Blondie's Heart of Glass, which was released as a single in late September, it became clear to so many that her voice is really suited to rock and roll. Alongside her cover of Zombie by the Cranberries and her own song Midnight Sky, it seems like she's really grown into her voice and found the perfect look for the genre. Number 6. Adele Ever since her music blew up in the early 2010s, the powerhouse singer has released hit after hit. Her albums 21, 25 and 30 became instant successes, with all three topping number one on nearly every worldwide music chart. But fans were really shocked in 2020 when Adele made a post on social media that showed her completely transformed look. In fact, she joked about the change in her opening monologue for SNL, saying, I know I look really, really different since you last saw me, but actually because of all the COVID restrictions, I had to travel light and I could only bring half of me, and this is the half I chose. The 34 year old looks extremely happy these days, and she's recently opened up about the healthy lifestyle changes she made that helped her lose 100 pounds in two years. But she knows that plenty of negative comments have surfaced about her new look, and she told British Vogue, My body has been objectified my entire career. Career. It's not just now. I understand why it's a shock. I understand why some women, especially, were hurt. Visually, I represent a lot of women, but I'm still the same person. So it's clear that Adele is very much herself, just with a newfound confidence. Number five, Kesha. The singer shocked fans when she debuted her glamorous and sophisticated new look at the Studio 666 premiere in Hollywood. The 34 year old was truly unrecognizable with a dark, short bob and a plain black dress in a major style transformation from her party girl days. Kesha wore a plunging, lace-up, short, tight black leather dress that accentuated both her chest and her legs. Her brunette hair was slicked back with natural-looking makeup. The Grammy Award winner has been known to drastically alter her appearance through the years, but her new, almost bare-faced look was a complete flip from her usual, bright, eccentric style with heavy makeup and her signature long, wavy blonde hair. So making the change from blonde to brunette and chopping her hair into a chin bob length made all the difference in the world. But aside from desperately waiting for Kesha to release new music, fans are also longing for the conclusion of her lengthy legal battle with her former producer Dr. Luke, which has been ongoing since 2014. The defamation lawsuit against her seems like it's gonna go on forever at this stage, and it has really kept her career in a kind of limbo. But it's clear that she's already planning some kind of a comeback with her new style. Number 4. Linda Evangelista The Canadian fashion model was undoubtedly one of the top supermodels from the 1990s and is regarded as one of the most accomplished and influential models of all time. In fact, she's been featured on over 700 magazine covers, but Linda hasn't really been seen in public very much in the last 5 years or so, and fans recently found out why. In September last year, she took to Instagram and revealed that she had undergone cool sculpting treatment to her face, which she says left her unrecognizable. As 
it allegedly caused fat cells in her face to multiply. Quote, to my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured. She went on to say that the procedure actually did the opposite of what it was promised. In fact, what happened to her was a rare but serious side effect of cool sculpting. And the model said the treatment not only destroyed her livelihood, but sent her into a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing, which is extremely sad when you consider just how much it would have affected her self-esteem. Number three, Iggy Azalea. The Australian rapper made her US debut in 2014 with the release of her first album, The New Classic, which debuted at number one on the Billboard rap chart. From her collaborations with some of our favorite pop princesses to her gorgeous curves, Iggy Azalea has consistently commanded headlines all over the globe. But recently, a lot of it has been plastic surgery rumors, considering how much her appearance has changed over the years. Confirming the suspicions, the Aussie hitmaker admitted that she has had rhinoplasty. She said, I'm not denying it. Denying it is lame. I don't think you should be ashamed if you've made a change to yourself, which is why I've spoken about the changes I've made, like with my breasts. Iggy was always pretty straightforward about her decision to have surgery, saying, your perception of yourself can change a lot over time. So I think it's important to wait and make sure it's the right choice. Plastic surgery is an emotional journey. It's no easy feat to live with your flaws and accept yourself. And it's no easy feat to change yourself. Either way you look at it, it's a tough journey. Which is a great message to get out there considering that there's still a lot of stigma behind just admitting to having done plastic surgery in the first place. Number two, Sharon Osbourne. The former The Talk panelist is no stranger to plastic surgery and it really seemed to work with her over the years considering her appearance was never altered too drastically. But all that changed in late 2021 when she got a facelift that, in her own words, ended up making her look like a cyclops. Quote, I had a full facelift done in October and I looked like one of those effing mummies that they wrap with bandages. She told the Sunday Times that the whole thing hurt like hell. But what was even worse is that all the pain never really paid off for her. Sharon said that after the more than five hour surgery, she was left looking horrendous. And she even told the surgeon, quote, you've got to be effing joking. One eye was different to the other. I looked like an effing cyclops. All I need is a hunchback. It sounds funny, but it would have been a nightmare for her. Even her husband, Ozzy Osbourne, was totally against the results. Fortunately, she was able to undergo reconstructive work, and she's now a lot more satisfied with her appearance. And coming in at number one, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Of all the famous twins in Hollywood, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen are probably the most mysterious. The former child stars announced an abrupt and permanent retirement from acting more than 15 years ago, and ever since then, they've kept a low profile. But the twins are still hard at work on their fashion line and other business endeavors. But when photos surfaced over the years of Mary-Kate looking drastically different from Ashley, fans began speculating that one or both sisters may have had plastic surgery. People were pretty rude when it came to targeting the appearance of both of them, with some outlets reporting that Ashley underwent a botched facelift and that Mary-Kate looked a lot older. In fact, one plastic surgeon who spoke to Life and Style magazine insisted that the changes could have come from other factors, such as nicotine products or lifestyle changes. The sisters looked surprisingly similar when they were younger, which caused most people to assume that they were identical. But they're actually fraternal twins, which might help explain their physical differences now. The girls did have a brief chance to get back on the screens recently in the revival of their original show, Fuller House. But they just weren't interested in participating, which seemed to disappoint a lot of fans. But it only served to make them more mysterious as they continued to live ever so private lives. Number 10, Courtney Cox. If you take a look at photos of the Friends star from back in the 90s compared to now, it's easy to see that she has undergone a whole range of different procedures. But unlike most celebrities, Courtney Cox has been completely open about all the procedures that she's had done. The 58 year old star confessed that she thought she'd gone too far at one point and said, you have no idea because it's gradual until you go, oh, this doesn't look right. And it's worse in pictures than in real life. Telling New Beauty magazine in 2017 that she gradually became addicted to surgery and was taking advice from all the wrong people. Quote, well, what would end up happening is that you go to a doctor who would say, you look great, but what would really help is a little injection here or filler there. She said she didn't realize how she looked until her friend looked at her face and said, whoa, no more. So it clearly took her a while. If you're loving this video so far, please hit that like button. It would really help us out. Number nine, Lil' Kim. The rapper is undoubtedly one of the brightest and most influential women in hip hop, yet her legacy remains controversial for one reason or another. But the Lil' Kim now looks nothing like the one we came to know and love in the 90s. The rapper underwent drastic cosmetic surgery procedures that ended up making her look like an entirely different person. As the years went by, Lil' Kim began appearing on red carpets and in interviews with lighter 
skin, higher cheeks, a smaller nose, and additional drastic alterations. Her transformation was so drastic that it truly horrified her loyal fans. And unfortunately, her career has suffered greatly because of it too. But there's a tragic reason behind her decision to keep going under the knife. The rapper developed a complex about her appearance thanks to a string of cruel boyfriends. She said, All my life, men have told me I wasn't pretty enough, even the men I was dating. I'd be like, well, what are you doing with me then? She told Newsweek that when men were unfaithful to her with women who looked nothing like her, it made her want to change the way that she looked. Number 8. Christina Aguilera The singer has come a long way since her Disney days with Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. After establishing herself as the voice of a generation, she also tried her hand at acting and gave us movies like Burlesque starring alongside Cher. But recently, her comeback had fans talking about her changing face. In 2017, many noticed that Christina had plumper lips. During her tribute performance to Whitney Houston at that year's AMAs. According to experts, she has had some work done to her face. There's been speculations about Botox, lip and cheek fillers, and jaw contouring. Despite the did she or didn't she do it debate, Christina has denied going under the knife. Instead, she revealed in a secret interview that she just loves to experiment with her makeup looks. She told Paper Magazine, I mean, I'm a girl that likes a beat face. Let's not get it twisted. So her fuller appearance could really be down to anything, or just the fact that it's perfectly natural for someone's appearance to change over the years. Number 7. Jojo Siwa You don't have to be a loyal fan of Jojo to know that she has a signature look. Ever since the teen superstar first rose to fame, she's been known for rocking oversized bows and her signature high ponytail. In fact, her sense of style is so popular that she even sells her own line of bows that often sells out in stores. But fans were pretty shocked when the 19 year old revealed that she had cut her hair very short and even given herself a mullet. Speaking in an interview for Instagram and Facebook's creator a week, Jojo said, I just had my 18th birthday and it was right around my birthday that I realized I kind of want to do my hair different today. It just felt like the right time to do something different and a little bit more mature or a little upgrade. The new 80s look is also a pretty good indicator that the singer wants to shed her Disney-fied image into something edgier and more age-appropriate since she'll be entering her 20s soon enough. Number 6. Noah Cyrus Her big sister Miley is certainly the most famous member of the A-list family, but Noah has really started to make a name for herself in the music industry in recent years. While there's no denying that Noah has changed quite a bit since she arrived on the scene, many fans have speculated that her changing look is a result of more than just puberty, and instead they think that she may have gone under the knife. The plastic surgery rumors began to circulate after photos of her with plumped lips and high raised eyebrows surfaced on Instagram in 2020. If you look at old photos of the singer and compare it to her appearance this year, you can actually tell that she has a significantly increased facial volumes in her cheeks, lips, and chin. Not only that, but her eyebrows appear to be higher. The 22 year old hasn't said anything about it yet, but many people still believe her dramatic facial changes aren't entirely natural. Number 5. Kelly Osbourne The singer has undergone a major transformation in recent years. She's ditched the shaved hair and goth makeup, and she's lost almost 40 kilograms. Kelly has been very open about her changing look, and said that she underwent gastric sleeve weight loss surgery in 2018. She went on the Hollywood Raw podcast in 2020 and described it as being the best thing that she has ever done. The surgery is quite a drastic one as it removes 75-80% to 80 of the stomach. While she has been very vocal about her decision, she said that it's far from a quick fix and actually requires a complete change in lifestyle. But after losing the weight, Kelly said that she realized she was resentful of Hollywood. Quote, Now in retrospect, I know exactly who I'll work with and who I won't. Because I know who called me fat. I know who didn't want to work with me because of that. I take that and I put it into my memory bank. I remember what you said about me and that's the best revenge. Number 4. Meg Ryan After stealing audiences hearts with her legendary rom-com roles, Meg Ryan's face would change beyond recognition in the early 2000s, when she underwent several cosmetic procedures to change her look entirely. When Meg attended the Tony Awards in 2016, she looked completely different. So the audience couldn't help but speculate that she has had plastic surgery and that she might have overdone it a little bit. Many cosmetic surgeons were quick to give their opinion on which procedures she might have had done, and they said that the most evident thing that she's done to her cheek was some form of filler or fat transfer. And the general consensus is that the procedure wasn't done properly, as the volume of filler could have been positioned more laterally to give her a softer appearance. There's also been speculation that she's had rhinoplasty done, as the tip of her nose is narrower than before and looks a little bit more pinched. But realistically, no one can really pinpoint the exact reason why she looks so unrecognizable these days. So up until now, it's all just speculation. Number 3. Renee Zellweger The actress stepped out on the red carpet in 2014 with a changed appearance, and it set the rumor mill abuzz. Photos from the 
event went viral around the world in a matter of hours, causing a huge social media frenzy. Both fans and critics felt Renee looked completely different than the Bridget Jones we all remember from the late 90s and early 2000s. She faced immense backlash for having Botox injections and a possible facelift, as many people noticed that she no longer had her signature almond shaped eyes. Renee told People magazine, I'm glad folks think I look different. I'm living a very different, happy, and more fulfilling life, and I'm thrilled that perhaps it shows. But the change in her appearance could also be completely natural as she was away from the spotlight from 2010 to 2016 and only returned for her new movie, Bridget Jones's Baby. It's also very common for actresses who were typically typecast into certain roles to adjust their look as they age because they want to be considered for a plethora of different parts. Number two, Jennifer Grey. After being catapulted to mega fame in 1987 for playing Baby in Dirty Dancing, Jennifer's career stalled. And although she was personally happy with her nose and its distinct bump, she underwent plastic surgery at the age of 29 to boost her career and gain more acting roles. She told The Mirror in 2012 that it was the nose job from hell. Quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. After the first surgery, she was thrilled with the way that she looked. Then, less than a year later, she noticed that a tiny bit of cartilage was visible under the surface of her nose. Jennifer then underwent a second surgery to correct the issue. But when she woke up, she discovered that she no longer looked like herself at all. It completely changed her. She was still beautiful, of course, but after that, she became totally unrecognizable from her dirty dancing days and lost one of her most unique features. And coming in at number one, Katie Price. Since becoming a household name as a glamour model in the 90s, Katie Price's brand has become synonymous with plastic surgery. But she has always been very honest about the work that she's had done, like the fact that she's had 12 breast augmentations over the last 25 years and got the first one when she was only 18 years old. She's also had veneers done, and in June last year, Katie endured one of her most ambitious rounds of surgery yet, as she underwent another facelift on the same day that she also treated herself to liposuction and fat injections on her bum. The TV personality is also a big fan of Botox and has gone under the knife for an eye and brow lift that left her face with a sharp, tight look. Plastic surgery has become her brand at this point, and Katie herself has said many times that she has no plan to stop going under the knife. But just by looking at old pictures, it's easy to see that she looked like a completely different person before she had all the work done. Coming in at number 10, we have Tom Felton. Tom Felton is an award-winning actor that is known best for his role in Harry Potter. While Tom has made some dramatic changes since he was everyone's favorite sneaky Slytherin student, while the star started off as a heartthrob child that stole our hearts with his beautiful blue eyes and white blonde hair, by 2018 when he made an appearance on Good Morning Britain to promote his YouTube series Origin, he would look nothing like the clean cut child star that once taunted Harry Potter while portraying his Slytherin nemesis. While the star has been sporting long hair tied in a man bun and glasses, a lot of Harry Potter fans would come for Tom and say that he definitely didn't grow up to be the heartthrob we all thought he would be. However, coming into 2023, Tom will once again be unrecognizable, as lately the actor has been looking pretty spicy again. While Tom has definitely struggled to stay on top of the industry since starring in Harry Potter, in 2022 he had the chance to play a bad guy once more, and this time, it was for the notorious criminal Guy Fox. He looked completely unrecognizable in the theater show, and as we watched Tom grow over the last couple of years, he's definitely become the heartthrob we all thought he would be, and you can't deny that. Coming in number 9, Khloe Kardashian. So Khloe Kardashian has recently been receiving backlash for her ever-changing look as fans believe that she lost too much weight, and they also think she's gone way too overboard with cosmetic procedures. While the star has been stunning, rocking a sporty, long, blonde, wavy hair, it has us all wondering, if it's Chloe or has she been replaced by a double. While Chloe has stated that she lost all her weight following a low carb diet that her nutritionist gave her, the plan has caused her to lose over 60 pounds. And while many people believe Chloe looks fabulous with her new look, as she does, many fans are also concerned that she's getting too skinny. After she shared a workout mirror selfie with one fan writing, her revenge body phases are always so hard as she goes too hard in my eyes to say, look what you're missing out, you idiot. When in reality, I I just want to see her happy with herself. It seems she works on herself in ways that make her life better. Other fans have said, nah, that's not Chloe. 
While Chloe has had plastic surgery in the past, she continues to lose a huge amount of weight, and by 2023, Chloe could look completely unrecognizable when it comes to the rest of her family. Hey Peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number eight, we have Renee Zellweger. She was once America's sweetheart after she stole our hearts and made us realize all of our love lives weren't great with her adorable performance in Bridget Jones's diary. I mean, how could you not love her pouty lips, bedroom eyes, and prominent cheeks? Renee was not only physically attractive, but she was also a very talented actress. In fact, she even won an Academy Award for her performance in Cold Mountain. While Renee has enjoyed a very prominent career in Hollywood with amazing supporting and lead roles in hit blockbusters, she's never really left the spotlight, but the lights have shined dimmer on her as time has gone by, and now we can't help but wonder, could it have anything to do with her looks? Today, Renee looks completely unrecognizable at Hollywood events, as her face now looks completely different to the point it makes us wonder, is this really Renee or is it somebody else? I guess none of us have seen Renee in a while, and when we suddenly saw an older version of the person we used to know, many were quick to claim that the changes were from plastic surgery, but others just simply acknowledged that the star has aged and we just didn't notice. Number seven, Meg Ryan. Before her plastic surgery, Meg Ryan was an American sweetheart that was known throughout the world for her roles in popular movies such as Sleepless in Seattle, Top Gun, You've Got Mail, and City of Angels. Entering in 2023, unfortunately, many people are still asking what happened to Meg Ryan, as a Hollywood star has since become unrecognizable after undergoing terrible plastic surgeries. While Meg's life has been full of controversies, her most recent and enduring controversy has everything to do with her messy plastic surgery result, which has been responsible for her changing appearance over the past few years. While the Hollywood actress still tries to claim that she had no work done, she isn't fooling any of us. While doctors have also insisted that the star has had too much Botox done, on her face, the procedures include Botox and fillers, and it's resulted in the disaster we see today. While it's clear her appearance was surgically achieved, as she looked good before she had any work done, doctors have also pointed out that she had some sort of nose job done to the tip of her nose that looks a little pinched on top. It's also said that she had way too much Botox injected into her forehead, and she She's even added too much volume to her lips. Today, Meg Ryan has this unnatural look on her face caused by unusual full cheeks and small squinting eyes. Number six, Priscilla Presley. From the bride of rock and roll legend to Leslie Nielsen's partner in comedy escapades, Priscilla Presley has undergone innumerable changes since the cat eye days of the 1960s. Although she was once defined as being one half of a superstar it couple, Presley has proven that she is indeed and will always be a power powerhouse in her own way. While Priscilla has donned everything from Lana Del Rey exquisite drips to gothic garbs, it seems like soon she might just be immortalized. While the star has had multiple plastic surgeries to look how she looks today, unlike other people her age, Priscilla has managed to keep a wrinkle free face. Now Priscilla has always had this natural beauty to her and when Elvis met her she was only 14 and she had this dove like beauty and the world famous singer was actually acting awkward and embarrassed in front of her. Decades later, Priscilla has lost that dove-like beauty, and now her face just looks so stiff as if she can't even move it. While her publicist has disclosed that she did have botched plastic surgery, fans have come out to say that her face now looks like a mask, and what happened to her is just so sad. While many celebrities have had plastic surgery, what makes Priscilla so disconcerting is how she looks completely unrecognizable entering into 2023. Number five, Raven Simone. Recently, Raven Simone has been wowing the public with her new slim figure, which has left her completely unrecognizable, and when she hits the red carpet or uploads a new photo and videos to her social media accounts. Raven first rose to fame as a child actor, starring in The Cosby Show and then Disney's That's So Raven. Since Raven's last stint in the limelight, she lost 70 pounds, and many claim that she is nearly unrecognizable from her former curvy self. While Raven now rocks a new, very thin figure with sculpted legs, she said, I I thought I looked fabulous before and nobody else did. So whatever. Actually, now I wear bigger clothes because I don't like the way people stare at me. I liked it before. Now, 
you're just looking at me for the wrong reasons. Before, you were actually looking at me for real reasons. Now, Raven has always stood by her curves and insisted that she was comfortable with her body. Raven's latest weight loss debut shows off a year of total transformations. However, while her body has changed, it sounds as though her healthy mind set has still remained, so there's nothing really to worry about when it comes to her weight loss and unrecognizable looks. And number four, Tori Spelling. While Tori Spelling has been offering her fans an easy solution to get younger looking skin, they are countering with their own suggestions for the Hollywood star. She's completely unrecognizable entering into 2023. While the star took to her Instagram on December 20th to talk about a new treatment that was going to lift her skin alongside a video documenting the treatment process being done to her, Tori would write a caption that said, do you want younger looking skin? I'm so excited to try Softwave Med's non-invasive treatment to help not only lift my skin, but also reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Tori's comments in the sections were then immediately flooded with a mix of those thanking her for introducing them to the procedure while others started to shame her for encouraging such work after she appeared to be unrecognizable. One fan saying, sister, you've had too much work done. Another user would say, stop doing stuff to your face and a third would write, can we just talk about what's going on with your lips? Despite her fans' opinions, Tori has actually always been pretty open to about what she's been doing to herself and how her looks have changed over time because of it. Number three, Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis' performance in the Hangover trilogy as the bride's ditzy younger brother, Alan, will live on forever in our hearts. As that was Zach's first breakthrough role. Since then, he has starred in several hit films in Hollywood. However, when you think of him, think of his character Alan, chubby, with bushy hair, and a long beard. You never, in a million years, imagined that he would be a hunk hiding underneath all that hair. Zach has not only removed his beard, shortened his hair, he's also lost a significant amount of weight, giving way for a new handsome man to take the spotlight for us now. Unlike most people on this list, it's almost impossible to imagine him playing Alan with a nice boy look. But I almost want to see the Hangover trilogy do it now because it would definitely be a spicy film we would never forget. Luckily, Zach has managed to turn back the clock and he's actually proved that he keeps getting better looking over time. And with a little effort, he seriously looks like he traveled back in time and had his younger self come to the future to continue to work for him. Which I know it sounds insane, but just take a look at his before and after photos and you'll completely understand what I'm trying to say. And number two, Val Kilmer, another celebrity from back in the day who did not age well is Val Kilmer. While Val definitely used to be a hunk in the 80s and 90s, if you ask any early millennial about him, they will tell you about how they fell in love with Val due to his good looks, but today his name might not ring a bell for a lot of late millennials because even if he kept on acting, his looks have faded away with time, which has made him become pretty less memorable entering into 2023, especially for younger women. It's very likely if you were out and about and you saw him walking down the street, you wouldn't even think that he used to be a Hollywood hunk that everyone wanted to date. Heck, you wouldn't even think that he was a really successful actor. Luckily for Val, Hollywood tends to be more forgiving when it comes to a man's age and looks more than it is when it comes to a woman, which is why he's still starring in several more films despite not having the same heartthrob looks as he used to before. However, we still have to mention that time has definitely not been so forgiving on the star as he's completely unrecognizable and that's why he made this list today. And coming in at number one today, we have Pamela Anderson. If you think you were fooled when I said Pamela Anderson, think again because I definitely said her name. And now that you see her picture, you probably wouldn't even guess it was her if I didn't tell you. Now we all remember Pamela from the hit TV series Baywatch when she rocked that steamy red bathing suit like no one else. Now she didn't exactly become famous because of her amazing acting abilities, but mainly because of her stunning looks. Hollywood is the place where looks can get you a long way. Pamela had a pretty successful acting career and she was also pictured in magazines for men. She also enjoyed living her life in the fast lane while Pamela was a rock and roll chick and was famously married to Tommy Lee, the drummer of the rock band Motley Crue, whom she later divorced. Could the rock life 
be responsible for stealing her look. While the actress is definitely not in her 20s anymore, we have seen plenty of actors and singers age wonderfully and retain their youthful features. In Pamela's case, however, she wasn't so lucky as she's completely unrecognizable now. Coming at number 10, we have Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan has been looking pretty different in the new glamorous snaps that she's been sharing to her social media pages. While the 36 year old has made a long awaited return to showbiz with a new podcast and she's even signed a deal with Netflix, her new photos have us all wondering is this really Lindsay Lohan we're seeing? Lindsay first rose to fame as a child star in the hit Disney remakes like The Parent Trap and Freaky Friday, and she eventually landed roles in Herbie Foley Loaded and Mean Girls. Between 2007 and 2012, Lindsay was known to keep gossip magazines alive as she made headlines for a series of under the influence decisions. After a troubled few years, it seems like the star spent some time away from America to live in countries like Greece and she's starting to make a comeback in film which is actually pretty exciting to see. With Irish Wish dropping sometime this year, I think we can all agree her recent Christmas movie Falling for Christmas was a success. However, in the first shots she looked completely unrecognizable. While Lindsay hasn't appeared in film for a while, with Irish Wish coming soon, it's a major sign that this could be the start of her return and I'm honestly living for it. Number 9, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez has been in the spotlight since her early childhood and with it comes a natural evolution over the last couple of years. Don't get me wrong, the actor has always been stunning and multi-talented and we watched her firmly step into who she is today. However, she isn't the same little girl we grew to know on the Disney hit series Wizard of Waverly Place. Gomez, who is known for her comforting charm and calming energy, has been stepping out of her comfort zone lately and she looks nothing like the brunette self she used to be as she's ditched the blonde hair and she's opted to go back to a more natural approach. Recently, Selena was spotted showing off her stunning figure when she was spending some time with some friends in Mexico. While the star was spotted wearing a white bandeau top and black bikini bottoms, fans are quick to point out that Selena has recently been rocking some stunning curves. While it was only natural we would see Selena grow into a total rocket, she's proved that with age, she's only becoming more stunning as time goes on. And even though she might not be as recognizable as she used to be, she's healthy and she's thriving and that's all that matters. Hey my little peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number 8, we have Demi Lovato. So Demi Lovato looks completely unrecognizable compared to her days on the Disney Channel. While the star has been in recovery from an eating disorder after she shared this information last year, she accidentally lost a lot of weight when she got caught up following diet culture. With Demi's life being full of ups and downs over the last few years, the actress has managed to overcome traumatic experiences and has decided to start from scratch. However, her followers have been a little worried about her. After she claimed she was abducted by aliens in 2021, Demi has set off alarms about her mental health and she even has a huge black tarantula tattooed on her head. While the star has fluctuated with losing and gaining weight at high speeds, internet users have started to relate Demi's current situation as a possible emotional crisis. After leaving the mental health center, Demi has chosen to rock a shorter hairstyle and she's even been photographed rocking gothic outfits which are given the media a lot to talk about as social media users assure that she looks completely unrecognizable. Number 7, Britney Spears. Britney Spears fans for years have been left feeling distraught after learning what the star has had to face over the last decade and when Ellen took to Instagram to show a stunning throwback clip of the pop star in December, fans were quick to point out that she looks completely unrecognizable today. Although the post was meant to be a sweet birthday tribute to Britney, fans couldn't help but reminisce on the icon's natural beauty before she faced her downward spiral. Seeing the Toxic Singer's 2003 appearance on Ellen's show also caused social media users to rethink Britney's current mental health status as the singer they know is completely unrecognizable in comparison to the blonde babe that sat beside the famed talk show host when she was only 19 years old. The stunned admirers couldn't believe that the pureness Spears portrayed during her first appearance on the show, which aired four years before the 41-year-old infamously shaped her head 
even though the mother of two recently broke free from being under her father's hands for 13 years in an attempt to retake control of her life, fans have remained worried it isn't her behind the camera. And even if she is the same person physically, many social media users believe emotional damage might be too deep to repair. Seeing Britney's images now has made a lot of fans really sad as her teeth now look different, she's lost her accent, and fans have even claimed that she just looks tired and sounds sad. Number 6. Drew Barrymore Drew Barrymore has seriously been switching things up. While the star has always donned impressively styled outfits, she clearly has a distinct style she likes to stick to. Now lately it seems like Drew is definitely ramping things up as she recently revealed a stunning transformation that even left her hair unrecognized. It's clear that Drew definitely cleans up nice, and when she went under a full makeover on the Drew Barrymore show, her hairdresser, Chris Appleton, would post a picture of the final results, and it would show Drew rocking, glowing makeup, and hair extensions. So Drew looks so different thanks to Charlotte Tilsbury and Chris, and fans were quick to race to the comment section to hype up how Drew looked. But they also pointed out, for a few good seconds, it was really hard to tell it was her. Drew looks were pretty similar to a combination of Jennifer Lopez in the Kardashians. While Chris is a Rion celebrity hairstylist with clients that include Kim and JLo, and Charlotte Tilsbury's celebrity list includes the Skims founder and Penelope Cruz, makes sense because Drew looked completely stunning. While Drew does look beautiful both ways, she always knows how to make heads turn when she enters a room with full makeup on. Number 5. Miley Cyrus Over the last decade, Miley continues to confuse fans with her unrecognizable looks. When she appeared on Jimmy Fallon's show back in November. After a few photos were shared to Instagram, a few people were quick to point out that her teeth and the shape of her face looked different. While the star was stunning in her black leather outfit and blue shirt, she rocked a blonde wavy hairdo and left some of her dark brunette roots showing. While Miley was on the show to promote her NBC special Miley's New Year's Eve party, which she was co-hosting alongside her godmother Dolly Parton, fans would debate on whether the singer had undergone some cosmetic treatments or not. However, there were also a number of comments saying Miley looked like her mom, Tish Cyrus, and others have even compared her to Madonna. Also, did you see some of the videos circulating from Miley's New Year's Eve party because the star looked once again unrecognizable, sporting blonde hair with black underneath, and many of her outfits were just stunning. Honestly, Miley's become this blonde bombshell with tattoos, and her performance with Fletcher still has me believing it was all just a dream. I honestly like this new side of Miley, and I can't wait to see more. Number 4. Noah Cyrus Honestly, I didn't even know Miley had a little sister until she started dating little Zan years ago, but it seems like now I barely even recognize her, as every time she posts a new photo on Instagram, she looks completely unrecognized. She looks completely unrecognizable. While the star has been back in the room making some new music, her latest posts show her sporting a more daring look that I don't think many would try. Most fans have been questioning where her eyebrows have gone. Noah Cyrus is one of the latest celebrities to try out the new bleached eyebrow trend. While she said the trend definitely caused her some pain, she still seems to be doing it. In addition to her newly invisible eyebrows, she's also been sporting a really dark spooky makeup look. And it's clear by removing Moving her eyebrows, Noah isn't scared to explore extremes when it comes to accentuating her face. And while the star may think it's a good idea, it leaves me to ask when we might see this trend stop because I'm tired of seeing celebrities constantly testing out this new brow method and it leaves them looking a little scary to look at. And while fans have pointed out Noah's extraterrestrial look, she does look good. I'll admit that. Number 3. Alexa Ray Joel Alexa Ray Joel is a singer and a pianist famously known for her performance at numerous charity events and New York City fashion events. Being the daughter of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Billy Joel, and model Christy Brinkley, it was only natural that Alexa would be willing to try some daring looks. However, Alexa has been leaving fans stunned with her new look as she sparks some plastic surgery rumors. While in the past Alexa has admitted to getting a nose drop, she continues to deny that she has gone under the knife again. While Alexa has come to deny all the rumors by saying it's absolutely hysterical, that people are comparing her photos to when she was 13 to now. As we know, she would naturally look different as it's called 
growing up, there's still something about her new look that remains to make her look like she is unrecognizable. Then she usually does and it's clear that the star is doing something because she continues to change her looks drastically every year and there's no denying that but either way there's nothing wrong with it as she looks stunning. Number 2, Angus T. Jones. So more than 7 years after the stars of Two and a Half Men signed off on their hit sitcom show, there have been new sightings of Angus T. Jones and honestly, he looks completely unrecognizable. While the actor did famously play the youngest member of the trio, we did know he wasn't going to stay young forever and he was going to grow up at some point. However, Angus looks have changed so much that you might not even notice who he was if I didn't point it out. While lately Angus has been sporting a full beard covering his lower half of his face, he dresses casually in t-shirts, shorts, and beanie hats, and every now and then you can see the actor walking down the street in his bare feet. Fans have since been seeing a lot less of Jones since he stepped away from the show. That made him a household name, however, since he was 21 by the time he made an appearance on the 2015 finale after exiting the series after being publicly criticized. None of us thought Angus would change his look so much. While he definitely seems to be a simple man, it's kind of concerning that he thinks it's safe to walk around on the streets with no shoes on. With it being nearly years since we last spotted him in public, he's definitely one of those celebrities we didn't expect to change so fast. Coming in number one today, we have Little Kim. So, 47 year old rapper Little Kim has been a figure in the music industry for over 20 years, and she has served us a series of iconic looks both on and off the stage. However, lately it's clear that the star has undergone some big changes since she broke out in the scene in the mid 90s. The Grammy winning rapper looks almost completely unrecognizable, while the star has been rocking a dramatically different hairstyle, skin tone, and face shape from the original Kim, fans all know and love, her evolution is kinda scary to watch. Now, we all know Kim has never been the one to steer clear of a bold look as she's experimented with wigs, color contacts, and lip liner. She's pretty much known and celebrated for being a regular beauty daredevil. But her recent transformations have been a little too unsettling to watch. While plastic surgery rumors have been swirling around, it's clear that her skin has gotten noticeably fairer, her nose is pointier, her cheekbones are higher, and her hair is increasingly a lighter shade of blonde. While fans are definitely concerned as Kim has been changing her skin tone, when she already looks stunning, it's kind of sad that the star even stated that the reason she's changed her look so much is because guys were cheating on her with European looking women.